Yo. Hey. How we doing? We good? Hang on, let me get some BGM going. It's used to turn me into BGM. That's a little loud, isn't it? Put down a smidge. There we go. What's up, guys? Hey, Sigma. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I'm a bit early today. I am two minutes early. So, you know, we'll probably end a little earlier too today. So maybe like, maybe like one or two minutes early. So, you know, just, just to let you know. Um, yeah, so how you been? How you been? I was, uh, really tempted. I was... I was chomping at the bit to come back and stream this, uh, Termina, because it's, it's just been amazing. Um, but... Uh, but I had other stuff to do, um, cause, uh, if you've seen on my Twitter, I am working on a game at the moment. I'll just post that real quick, actually, before we get started. Um, where were my screenshots of that? Um, 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 where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, here we go. Here's some screenshots of the game, oops, of the game I'm working on at the moment. It's very nearly done. Um, every time I've put, I've put a time, an estimate on when it's been done, I've been very wrong. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it'll definitely be done in like, I, I expect it to be done in a couple of days, but I don't, I've got no idea at this point. So um, keep an eye out for that. That should be that should be cool. It's just it's just a little short thing. It's mostly just practice for me to get back into into making games because I took a I took a break from that as well. I took a break from pretty much everything when I when I moved at the start of the year. Um, so just getting back into that. Um, and then after that, I have a couple of ideas that I want to work on, but I'm still figuring out exactly exactly what I want to want to start doing afterwards um i've been getting back into pixel art as well um it's not it's not super obvious in those screenshots um because it's it's pretty it's pretty basic looking game but i have been doing other stuff that uh i don't think i've, sh I've shown it off um so i'm thinking about you know doing doing stuff that's a little bit a little bit better than that doing games that look starting to look more like real games which I think would be pretty cool. Might even be able to sell them. That's a dream, isn't it? But yeah. Um, although... So... I was supposed to stream three times this week. Um, hang on, let me pull up the schedule. Um, here, on this page. Um, so actually, I'll just turn off my mouth for a second. Yeah, so I was supposed to stream three times this week. Um, but... So, next week, um, I was I was supposed to be leaving on the weekend. Oh, I thought I was leaving on the weekend. I'm going to be um, going to my... Going to house at somebody else's place. And they don't have very good internet. So, I suspect I will not be able to stream while I'm there. And that was supposed to happen, or I, I assumed it was going to happen on the weekend, but it turns out it's happening uh, a lot sooner than that. So it, it, I'm, I'm transferring all my stuff um, uh, the exact same time I'm supposed to be streaming on Wednesday. So, <laughs> so that's not having a Wednesday stream this week. Um, so we'll just do today and tomorrow. I'll try and make these streams a little bit longer to, to compensate. Um, but you know, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. Um. Also, I have been posting. I'm not sure if I've I've, I've probably shared it here before in here, but um, I've been posting. <clears throat> Shorts on YouTube and on TikTok. So if you have, uh, everyone has a YouTube, but if you have a TikTok, uh, check me out there. Oops, hang on. So there's my uh, YouTube link. 
Um, and my TikTok is... Where the hell is it? Um... Ah, here we go. Um, yeah, so I post... I mean, if you're in the streams anyway, you, you'll you see this content. It's, it's, it's just clips from the streams so far. But still, if you're interested and you want some, uh, some daily, daily bites of mouth, then those are the places to find it. Um, it's funny. Um, on YouTube, my fear and hunger content is doing a lot better than my, my previous, uh, Red Dead Redemption content, which I didn't expect. I thought... May, you know, you know, it's it's also a case of like maybe I'm just ma not making the right content for that audience, right? Um, and I guess I didn't play Red Dead Redemption for a super long time on stream. It was like a week or two, and then that was it. So it wasn't really enough time to experiment and build up, uh, build up um, enough connections in the algorithm. Because the algo only works when you start connecting to people that like it. And so it, even if you make the perfect content for a certain group of people, um, it still takes time for the algorithm to figure out who wants to watch it. Um, and, you know, it, does, it, always, it always comes down to, you know, make good content and people will find it. Um, so, you know, it, it's sort of hard to tell, like, was I making good content or did I just not have enough time, spend enough time making it for it to connect? Um, and because now I'm taking, I'm taking VTubing a bit, I want to say less seriously. Um, so I was like stressing myself out before, which is one of the reasons I sort of had to stop because I'm like, you know, I've got to do this, got to do that, got to plan on this stuff. And this someone was like, no, 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 no. VTubing is a side thing for me. This is where I'm having fun. And, you know, I make the clips and stuff because I may as well, and it's good practice. Um, and, you know, it's, it's more fun with a bigger audience. Um, so, but yeah, so I'm not, I'm not taking it super seriously. So if, if something bombs, I don't really care. You know, if I start making clips for a game and people just don't want to watch a game, or I start, you know, I start streaming a game and people don't want to watch a game, it's like, well... I'm still going to make stuff for an audience, but I'm not, you know, stressing over it. <laughs> and until I get my, my other stuff sorted, like I want to make, you know, make games and make money off games and, and stuff like that. Until I start getting that sorted, there's no point me worrying about multiple things that all take time to work on. You know what? Stressing about one thing is enough, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Stressing about multiple things is just is just going to kill you. And eventually, I do want to get in a position where I, I get money coming in from streaming, I get money coming in from from games, and I get money coming in from other stuff. But you know, at the start, at the start, it's good just to focus on one thing, right? And just make sure that's good. Oh, hey guys, hey Bonesy and, and Headless, how you doing? Play Osars. Oh yeah, yeah, we can do Osars intro. That'd be fun. I forgot about that. I'll probably do that for like you know. He said it took like an hour to get through. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll do Osars intro, but then I'll go back and finish my Levi playthrough after that. Um, because I do because I'm getting really close to finishing with Levi. I'm pretty sure. Um, but you know. It, it could be one of those things. I thought I thought I'd been close to finishing before, and it turns out I wasn't. So you know who knows. But yeah, I think that's enough enough jibber jabber. Let's get into. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. New game. <laughs> it literally took an hour to beat Osar's character creations. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, so Osar is the Yellow Mage. He's 32. Wow, pretty old. Contrary to other priests' beliefs, Yellow Mages don't dedicate their lives to worship. Yellow Mages use otherworldly powers only to their own benefit and to further their own agenda. Interesting. Let's go. Osar. Oop. Cool. 
Uh, I'll just go regular mode. <laughs> what is? <laughs> How long is it if there's an abridged version? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's go. Give me the full text adventure. It's a text adventure. Uh, well, I guess... Um, he does like doing mini games in this. I mean, he did uh, the Fear and Hunker dating dating sim in the first game too, you could unlock. So it's, it's not surprising that he's put mini games in this too. The soothing sound of the rail tracks. You are not used to such peaceful and tranquil atmosphere. You can't help but let your mind wander. You reminisce what has led you to this point in life. You were born and raised in the raising heats of Abyssonia, the continent with a long history embedded with chaos and warring factions. Those fools. The people around you waged wars over ancient disputes and grudges started by long-gone ancestors. That is how it has always been. The people of Abyssonia held ancestors and their spirits on a godlike pedestal. But it's not like it was any better in the north, in the continent of Europa. Those fools worshipped ancient de deities that none of them had even seen with their own eyes. Interesting. Oh, yeah, they, they worship um, the three, don't they? Mostly. And those guys fucked off ages ago. So it seems that like the new gods all live outside of Europa for the most part. That's interesting. And they certainly had their disputes as well. A great war after another. What's worse... Their disputes didn't stay within their borders. They dragged everyone else into the mess. They set their sights on Abyssonia now because of its strategic position in securing an access to oil and other raw materials from the east. It was only a matter of time before their troops would march on your land. You were not going to die because some faceless puppeteers chose to, chose to focus their magnifying glasses on your home country this time. Despite your young age, you decided to leave. Young? 32? Weird. Your siblings and mother would mourn your departure. They wanted you to have something to remember them by. Take your family, cack cack. Take your father's memento, soulstone. I don't know what a cack cack is, so we're taking that. You took the cack cack with you. He's 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 ancient in anime years. Positively ancient. Twenty is middle aged in anime. You had considered yourself as successfully dead inside. Not swayed by emotions, but it took a lot of effort to convince yourself that you wouldn't miss your family. You still obviously had weaknesses to weed out. He's not 32 at the start. This is a long intro. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> so the intro goes for two years. <laughs> 32 is young. Oh, there you go. You headed to the city of the sun, Amon. To educate yourself on spiritualism and religion. You were no slough physically, but you always considered your intellect your true forte. City of the Sun, Amon. Is that in that sounds like it might be an Egyptian name? And just like that, you're accepted as an apprentice after some preliminary tests. At the same time, news about the Great War closing Abyssonian borders were all they could talk about on the radio. Did you learn about Amon in Fear and Hunger One? Um I don't recall it. Uh, there's a lot I don't remember about that game. And I'll be honest, I didn't play it as much as I should have. Amon was far from the borders and it would have probably remained safe for a good while even after a war broke. You figured you'd still have plenty of time to learn at the temple and leave the country before it was too late. One half of a twin city, oh that's cool. At the temple of Amon you were given a choice to learn various different schools of spiritualism. Hey Benish, how you doing? Good to see you. Learn of worship in Europa. Learn of Eastern sanctuaries. Learn of methods from your home country. Let's go home country. You learned meditation. Oh, wonder what that does. Was that one of the ones that... I think this is one of the ones that was fixed because it didn't do anything. Just recently. Amon is the Egyptian city of the sun, but there's also an Egyptian city of the moon. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! 
I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. I don't care. <laughs> oh, you're awful, Bones. You were talented and praised for your quick learning at the temple, but that came as no surprise to you. You knew you were smarter than most of those old geezers. They only possessed knowledge you wanted, and once you had that, they served no purpose for you. Wow, he's a, he's a Sigma male. Oh, Sigma. The more time you spent at the temple, the more pathetic the priests of Amon started to look in your eyes. Religion in general started to look dubious too after examining how the world functioned. Most religious doctrines were moulded to accommodate the current ruling class. Religion was used as a mere tool to control masses more than anything else. Dedicating your life to worship was equal dedicating your life to kings and queens at the time. You had left your home because you didn't want to fight, to want to die fighting someone else's war. So why would you waste your life serving someone else's in turn? Around this time, you found an old scroll from one of the many Amon libraries. The scroll mentioned an old sect of magical practitioners originating from the Eastern Sanctuaries, whose worldview seemed more appealing to you. Yellow mages differed from your typical priests. Instead of dedicating their lives to worship, gods existed for them. Their force was to be harnessed to further one's own personal growth and agenda. Among us. <laughs> Osiris, he's looking kind of sus. Instead of finding order from the commandments laid out by the older gods, Yellow Mages reveled in chaos. Chaos was the natural state of the world we'd return to from time to time, so why even try to force it into anything else? Time for Osiris to make some buddies in the sect of Yellow Mages, this should be good. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, some sex buddies. You quit at the Temple of Amon and decided to head east in pursuit of these yellow mages. You travelled beyond your home continent, ultimately finding yourself at the narrow streets of the Eastern Sanctuaries. You got acquainted with the local temples. Even they had adopted the worship of Ulmir as their main religion. Eastern sanctuaries were no better than the temples of Amon in that regard. If anything, religion was even more prevalent there and dictated the way people were to live and die. <clears throat> you were looked down upon by the scholars and religious leaders of the area because of your very public opinions. That didn't bother you. You knew better. In time, your conviction convinced the facets you wanted. You were approached by a group of traveling mages who wore colorful attires. The yellow mages that were still around this city Around this day and age, we're reduced to small separate groups wandering around the world to study all fields of the otherworldly. The group saw the potential in you and offered a place among them. God damn. You've ruined this for me, Bones. You've ruined this whole thing for me now. You liked what you heard and decided to join the wandering group. What did you specialize in? Learn basic techniques or more advanced magics? Well, advanced magic, obviously, because we're very smart. You learned her- Oh, fuck yeah! Hurting! Let's go! <clears throat> hurting is awesome. Bonesy Jonesy ruins everything. Yeah, that could be- That should be the, the title of every bone streams, is Bonesy Jonesy ruins everything. Your path of learning and self-growth knew no end. Your travels brought you to a small border town in Eastern Sanctuaries. Then you met a curious person, Hadil Azif, a self-proclaimed wizard from the Far East. Despite his pretentious appearance, his family name Azif was well known and even somewhat feared in certain occult circles, which gave his claims at least some credibility. I just need a quick sip. No, Dan, we haven't finished the game yet. Um, apparently, this guy's intro, Osar's intro, is awesome. So we're just playing through this first. It's a whole text adventure, supposedly. <clears throat> so we're just going to play through this first and see how it goes. He was gathering a group of adventurers to accompany him on a perilous quest. He had inherited a map from his late grandfather that was supposed to lead him to the infamous dungeons of fear and hunger itself. 
The Necronomicon in one is called the Testament of Al Azif. Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> Fighting fantasy, fear and hunger. I hope you brought your pen and paper. <laughs> fear and hunger um, tabletop game would probably be pretty sick. The place used to be a noteworthy location of pilgrimage for many aspiring mages and priests in the distant past. The yellow mages you had spent time with previously told ominous tales about the dungeons as well. Initially, you dismissed Azif's talks only to be haunted by some of the most brutal nightmares on the following night. Something was calling for you. You had to witness the place yourself. Be fatal, no. <laughs> You joined the motley crew of adventurers Azif had managed to put together and travelled through war-torn Europa. Most of the crew quit halfway to Rondon because of how difficult it was to cross borders during those chaotic times. A prequel game where you play as Osar and this group going to the Dungeons of Fear and Hunger sounds kind of sick, actually. It would be interesting to see how the dungeons have changed over the past, like, 500 years. The closer to the destination you got, the more feverish your dreams became. The remaining members of your ragtab fellowship were visibly sick from stress and otherworldly pressure that had befallen on you the moment you set out on your quest. The breaking point was the day you were finally arrived at the dungeons. The heavy fog drowned your camp and made navigation impossible. Using compass did no good as the thing was just spinning circles wildly. That prequel game is his intro. <laughs> Distant growls and howls created unrest. Not that there was any need for that as superstition and constant misfortune had already convinced your fellow travellers that this trip was cursed from the start. Your companions panicked and scattered to the mist, as if himself had been sick from constant nightmares for half the trip already. You left him curled up in fetus position in his tent and ventured forward on your own. After walking for a while, you started to make out something from behind the thick white veil. The mist revealed structures of some kind. You get to a set of old ruins, or they look more like a measly pile of rubble now. If it wasn't for the dreadful aura emanating from deep within, you couldn't tell there was anything remarkable about this place whatsoever. Near the main entrance arc, there was a makeshift archaeological site with tents and digging equipment. The site looked abandoned. On the other side, there was a side entrance to the dungeons with stairs leading down to the darkness below. Let's examine the tents first. The archaeological site seemed relatively new. Maybe a couple of years old at tops. There was no signs of people. Whoever had set it up had long abandoned the place too. All the documents and reports were written in Bremen, so you couldn't tell what exactly these people were looking for. This might have just been a regular archaeological excursion that stumbled onto their certain doom unknowingly. If these truly were the dungeons of fear and hunger, then even in their current state they would surely swallow unprepared tourists whole. Near the main entrance arcs, there was a makeshift archaeological site with tents and... Oh, we've been here. Um, side entrance was always much safer in the first game, so we're going for side entrance. Cautiously, you walked down the slippery stairs, only to find a cave-in. The hallway had totally collapsed, and there seemed to be no way around it. It was down the stairs. Buried underneath the rubble, there was an old skeleton in a medieval level armor, crushed under, under tons of rocks. You didn't want to suffer the same fate with the skeleton, so you returned back. I wonder... I wonder if you can find, during this, you can find some of the people from, from the first game in, like, killed in the dungeon. I guess we're going main entrance then. The moment you stepped inside the dungeon walls, you felt immense otherworldly pressure. You understood that the place would drain any normal person to the brink of madness and starvation in a matter of mere hours. You had to be efficient about this. Even if the day was still bright, the darkness seemed to suffocate all light and you could barely see anything ahead of you. You lit up a torch. You stood at the vestibule of the dungeons. To your left you saw a small doorway leading to what seemed to be a kitchen. There was a small room with an old wooden furniture in front of you, and to your right there was a closed door. Let's check out the kitchen. The room had small stools, a large wooden table covered in cobwebs and old stains. At the end of the room there was an old cupboards and kitchen utensils that had collapsed to the ground. A row of wooden barrels. We'll check the wooden barrels. There's always good stuff in barrels. They might have once stored food items, but that was hundreds of years ago. There was nothing useful then. <laughs> you got me. Suddenly you heard loud banging and screeching coming from the entrance hall. Adrenaline was rushing through you as you ran back to see what was causing the noise. The closed door was jolted from its hinges. Something big was trying to force its way through the door. Whatever it was, 
created inhuman guttural sounds between its swings at the door. By the way, you can glean which seed is canon from this. Oh, interesting. That's right, the, the kitchens were... Okay. Hide in the kitchen, hide in the room in front of you. Wait and see what it is. We do not wait and see what it is. No, 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 no. We don't wait and see what it is because it will kill us. Um, I'm going to hide, not in the kitchen because it's probably hungry. Let's go hide in the room in front of you. You check the room for any good spots to hide and decide to crash behind a bookshelf. The place gave you a good vantage point while hiding in the shadows. The door crashed open. You see a dark silhouette of a gigantic, malformed being pushed from the open doorway. The creature made gurgling noises as it slowly wandered to the kitchen. You used this chance to sneak past the thing through the dark corridor where it first came from. Only the creature had clearly gotten used to the darkness as it sensed you the moment you got out of your hiding spot. You charged into the unknown darkness without a second thought. You ran as fast as you could, creating distance to the malformed beast with each step. You can see much in the darkness, but a doorframe that had light shining through its cracks caught your attention. You tackled the door open and stumbled to an overgrown courtyard. Quickly glancing back at the dark corridor, you noticed that the beast was nowhere to be seen. You figured that the last rays of the setting sun kept it at bay. You took a breather and slowly walked across the yard. The grass had taken a sickly, yellowish colour and the setting sun created an ominous shadows as the rays hit the lone gallows standing at the centre of the enclosure. Can you visit? Maybe. It, it has been a very long time, so who knows. As you managed to focus your thoughts, you realised that there was an additional voice echoing in your head. Something or someone was calling you from the depths of this forsaken fortress. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a thin one, wasn't it? Five hundred year long orgy. Imagine the smell. I don't want to. <laughs> there was something very curious about this echo. You needed to find its source. Not like you had a choice, but to delve deeper as the sun was rapidly setting down, stripping you from the last barrier that kept the murderous beast hiding in the shadows. The courtyard led to another door in the darkness. You pushed forward. You were at the foyer of this dungeon. The hall was large. To your left was a lavatory. To your right was a long corridor leading to total darkness. And before you rose, a large stairway up. I'm not going in the toilet. Um, do I want to go up? I don't really want to go up. We'll go dark corridor. I'm not going to the toilet. I don't care. I'm not doing it. Toilets never have anything good in these games. Ever. Full stop. Your torch slowly pushed away the darkness as you advanced towards the unknown. The further you got, the stronger the echo inside your head became. You couldn't make out words clearly, but this was definitely the right direction to head. Oh, good. Oh, there's some... No, 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 no. The toilet in the first game was as bad as you expect it to be. It's so bad, you fall down there and you can't get out and you have to wait there until you can commit suicide. Until you go crazy enough, that the game lets you kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, we don't use toilets here. Oh, there's definitely knowledge down there, but it's not the sort I want. A larger room opened up behind a set of rusty iron bars. Your torch revealed human-like figures that stood still just beyond the radius of the light. Upon closer inspection, you noticed that these figures were medieval iron maidens. Human-shaped torture devices that had seen practical use, judging from the old stains that had formed from the seeping blood of their victims. The room had numerous other torture devices as well. Oh, no way. This is a torture room. Oh, that guy was great. <laughs> what, was his, what was his name again? Um, oh, I'll never remember it. He was great, though. Um, he's he's got to be dead, though. He was such an easy fight. There's no way he'd be... Troter, that's it. Yeah. I'm not going in there, though, because he was... He did have some, some sneaky kills. Maybe I should go in there. Okay, this room had numerous other torture devices as well. Most of them would probably be inoperative in this day and age. Among them, you saw an old reinforced chest, and at the back of the room, you saw a corridor leading to the cells. Let's check that. Like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. Let's check the chest. The chest looked old. It might as well have been medieval, for all you knew. As you tried opening it, you realized the lock was still fully functional. You couldn't open it without a proper key. You felt a cruel draft running across the chamber. The draft seemed to be guiding you towards a dark corridor at the end of the room. Oh, no way! 
No way. I missed a small key earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can find a key during the <laughs> during the text adventure, of course. Fear and hunger. Actually, I don't know if everybody knows. So, fear and hunger is an actual god. Um. Um. And I don't know if everybody knows that the god of fear and hunger is a. Th oh no, they must because there's books written about it. So it's a sort of it's a it's a religious thing that because the world is in a medieval state for a very long time, and then something happened that caused them to rapidly advance, and it sort of follows along a sort of uh, our our historical timeline. It's very similar, but. In this game, it's explained that there was rapid technological advancement because the god in fear and hunger used its powers of fear and hunger to push humanity along. So it's sort of like, everyone's like, so what caused the Industrial Revolution? In our age, it just happened, right? These technological jumps just happened, but in this game, it canonically happened because the god was like, no, you're scared and you're hungry, so you need to push yourself as hard as, hard as you can to get over that fear. That is well known as Jesus. Okay. Okay, you feel a cold draft from across the chamber. The drafts seem to be guiding you towards a dark corridor at the end of the room. So is this... Are we going to find... Because behind this was the, the blood chamber, the blood hallway. Or I, I guess it was more of a gutter. And it had... Um, someone said his name yesterday. Or the, 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 in the last stream. The, the headless mage. Please tell me. Please tell me we're going to find him here. The corridor that opened up was a long one with multiple cell doors at each end. At the end, there was a large bar sealing up a staircase. Only a rusty old lock stood towards your deeper darkness. Nashra, that's it. Okay, now we're going to go check the gate because I think that's where Nash. Unless, maybe, maybe I'm just getting confused in my head though. The corridor that opened up was a long one with multiple cell doors covering each side. At the end, there was large bars sealing up a staircase. Deeper darkness. I'm gonna go check the gate. Let's check the gate. Despite being ancient, the lock seems surprisingly durable. You figure that you need a key or something similar to open the pathway down. The corridor that opened up was a long one. Okay, so we'll check the cell doors. All the doors were locked. Your torch barely lit any of the cells and there was no telling what was inside them. Oh, okay. Go into the torture chamber. Um... Uh... Check the chest, can't do that. Return to the foyer, head back to the foyer. You were at the foyer of the dungeons. Okay, so I guess... <sighs> I guess we're checking out the toilet. <clears throat> Your torch lit up a row of grimy old toilet seatings. Old blood stains were mixed with what looked like semen. <laughs> you wondered how and why you knew such an exquisite little detail. Why did he know that? Why did he know that? I'm not jumping to... <laughs> it's hilarious that they give you the option to jump down the toilet. Investigate. Investigate. There was nothing much to the toilet holes. They were just what one expects them to be. Okay. I'll check out the stairway. The wide stairway led, led to an old Marian sacrifice altar with the skeleton crucified to it. Next to the altar, there was a side path leading deeper to the fortress. Examine the altar. Ah, I was wondering about that. Altar was a typical ritual crucifix used to worship Olmir, the Ascended One. A sacrifice would be put to the, on the cross, and their blood would be slowly drained for days to come. Traditionally, such rituals were used for protection. Olmir would look, look after the immediate surroundings for as long as the blood was running down the cross. Does it just say that the train wide was a dream then? Um, uh, not really. This is you... You're, you're traveling on a train to preheval. The, the destination in the game, and you're just sort of just uh, remembering back what you went through. Is the elite guard... Well, something was there, yeah. It sounded like a guard was there at the start. And we, we managed to dodge him, so... The last sacrifice this cross saw must have been this skeleton. There was no blood dripping from the cross anymore, so no, no protection from Olmir either. Okay, we'll go to the side path. The path was a narrow corridor, crudely made from misshapen bricks and stones. It looked like the floor had collapsed at certain points, but you were able to hop over the trench with ease. A large room opened up before you. The room stood out with its fine decor, spiral floor tiling, and its many bookcases covering the walls. 
The south end corner of the room had a small doorway shrouded in dark. The north end corner was more dilapidated with its caved in ceiling and all. Hell yeah, we're searching the bookshelves. Most of the books that were still left had been growing mold or hundreds of years, but there were still a handful of manuscripts that had appeared surprisingly new. Oh, oh, okay. Um, a yellow mage would probably most likely pick rare, I think. What do you guys reckon? Hmm. What does Grogoroth even do? I don't know. Sylvian is like really useful because it gives you the full heal. But I haven't gotten rare before, so I'll pick rare. I'll pick rare. Yellow Mage has served Grog oh, okay, then we'll go Grogoroth. You got Skin Bible, Grogoroth. The manuscripts all seem to be part of a bigger compilation, and you would have loved to have, have, have all of them with you. But you had a job to do and you couldn't burden yourself with too much extra luggage. Blasty damage one. Okay. Whose skin? That's that's a very good question. <laughs> a large room opened up before you. The room stood out with this fine decor. Oh, we've been here. Okay, uh check the check the doorway. Your torch slowly lit up the small room and revealed a wooden desk with drawers. A carpet that was from Eastern Sanctuaries, judging by its patterns. And a partly eaten corpse that seemed to be part of the archaeological expedition. Oh, they got deep inside, didn't they? I'm not, I'm not saying that, Bones. I'm not saying it. Uh, well, we'll search the body. The corpse belonged to one of the adventurers who had delved here with the archaeological expedition. That's what his outfit told, at least. It was a traditional safari outfit you had seen in movies. Someone or something had been chewing on the body. There was human-like bite marks all over the torso and neck. You found tobacco, a blue vial, and prison keys. Faint whining and moaning could be heard from the partly eaten archaeologist. The corpse had trouble getting back on his feet, but after a small stumble, he had already turned his attention on you. Slowly, one step at a time, the ghoul approached you with his mouth stretching unnaturally open. I'm going to cast hurting at it. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Uh, uh, fuck! No! Before managing to attack, you tripped on a small pile of rubble. As you lifted your torch to see, the ghoul already charged towards you with surprising ferocity and landed its teeth on your shoulder. You managed to push the creature back just barely and escaped with only a minor injury. You backed away from the room, yet the ghoul kept on following you. You cautiously hopped over the collapsed floor in the cor corridor leading to the library. The creature was not as agile and instead face-planted on the ground as it tripped on the rubble. The ghoul was waist-deep in the trench, unable to climb back up. Desperately, he tried reaching out for you with his blood-soaked hands. The whines and grounds turned into agitated shrieks as it furiously tried to snatch you. It looked like the creature was stuck. You figured you'd best just leave this area for now and explore elsewhere. Okay, I'm at the foyer. Um, so we go down the corridor. Now we have the prison keys. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Check the... Do I have the key for that? No, I, I, we'll try it. Uh, no, I don't. Check the dark corridor. Oh, shit. I missed something. I'm an idiot. I wasn't paying attention. The creature must have heard your scent that his footsteps clearly closed in on you at a rapid pace. You had to act fast. The corridor that opened up was a long one with multiple cell doors covering each side. At the end, there was a large pair of, pair of bars sealing off a staircase. Only a rusty old look stood in the way in the deeper darkness. Can we turn back? I don't think we can in this. Uh, check the cell doors. Check the gate. Uh, oh, um, we're running away from this guy, so we're just going to go to the gate at the end. You heard the creature trash the nearby torture chamber. He was right on your heels. You couldn't see him in the darkness, but you could sense his intense hatred homing in on you. The gate was locked with a reinforced lock. You tried to remain cool as you hoped for the prison keys to work. The beast was already charging towards you as you opened the gate and slipped inside only seconds before the malformed monster smashed against the bars. Violently, the creature tried to reach for you while making low grunting noises from his swollen throat. The bars in the gate seemed to hold the beast for now, but you didn't want to stay and find whether the thing could eventually break in. Instead, you took the stairs deeper into the darkness. The thought crossed your mind. If the darkness had twisted those poor souls to become mindless beasts, would the same fate await you if you stayed at the dungeons for long enough? The stairs became sticky from old gore and blood the deeper you got. The air was stale and had rotten smell to it. The voice inside your head got louder. 
You still couldn't make any sense of the words, but it was definitely calling for you. Deeper. You had to get deeper. That much was clear. What's a sod? It's sort of like a... It's it's just sort of like a, a negative word for somebody, but it it used to be a lot worse out of this now. It's sort of like, oh, if you might say like poor bastard. That poor bastard. But it's, it's a bit nicer than bastard. You entered a huge chamber full of partly buried skeletons and rotting corpses laying about. The ground had a thick layer of dried blood and filth which had accrued around the chamber walls over the years. Each step you took echoed to dizzying heights. You couldn't see this chamber ceiling. The walls just rose up forever to the darkness. There were two scarce staircases in the chamber. One led to the ground level you had just escaped, while the other led to the lower levels. In the middle of the chamber there was a rather new looking wooden contraption. I'm not examining the bodies because they're probably just more zombies, so let's examine the contraption. You didn't notice a gaping hole at the center of the chamber until you got closer and your torch had lit up the surroundings. The wooden contraption had been built around using it as a freight elevator of sorts, lifting and lowering items and people if necessary. The contraption itself stuck out by, by not being stained with blood and filth like everything else. Judging by some of the equipment around, the elevator must have been used by the same archaeological expedition that had set up the tents outside. You could have used the contraption yourself too if you had some sort of rope with you. Okay, so we'll take the stairs down. The stairs leading down were sticky with grime like everything else in the chamber. A cold draft moved along the chasm that awaited you at the bottom. In the original, examining the body of Salmon Nashra. Okay, so this is the room we're talking about now. Okay. Okay, yep, yeah, I had it I had it backwards in my head. Uh, the, the map of the the map I was thinking of. The stairs leading down were sticky with grime like everything else in that chamber. A cold draft moved you along the chasm that awaited you at the bottom. A giant underground ravine opened up before you. Even your torch couldn't probably light up the area. There were iron grid platforms suspended above seemingly bottomless chasm. The platforms were mounted on cavern walls and linked together with a shaky looking bridge. The side you were on had few individual prison cells in a row. What awaited on the other side of the bridge was shrouded in darkness. Fake fan doesn't have the whole game memorized yet. I'm going to check the prison cells. You tried opening the cell doors, but all of them appear locked. Some of the locks were too rusty to even function properly anymore. There appeared to be no way inside the bars. Not that you missed anything important. The torchlight revealed just a regular prison utilities like piss buckets, chains, and a couple of skulls belonging to previous residents. A giant underground ravine opened up before you. Even your torch couldn't properly light up the area. Oh, we've been here. So, let's examine the ravine. <laughs> oh no, Osha found the piss bucket, guys. <laughs> the grid platforms look old and rusty. The platforms gave Wara some crinks as you walked on them. The fact that parts of the platform had already collapsed didn't exactly reassure you on their condition. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got to walk over the bridge at some point, don't we? You cautiously walked up to the bridge. Just putting some weight in the thing caused a couple of nuts and bolts to fall down to the endless depths. You braved across it. The bridge felt like it was about to collapse at any moment, but somehow it remained together. The other side of the ravine was more or less identical to the one you just came. There were three cells in a row. At the end of the platform, there was a corridor leading away from the ravine back to solid ground. Let's check the cells again. Still girders are 500. Yeah, they would be, wouldn't they? All the cells were locked. One cell in particular caught your attention. There was a huge, naked creature inside. Its features looked human, but the person must have been at least two and a half meters tall, if not more. The upper body of the thing was shrouded in darkness. For a moment, you thought the creature was still breathing. But you figured it must just have been the flickering torch creating illusions. Surely. You walked away as quietly as possible, regardless. Okay, so, return to the other side. No, we go down the corridor. Oh, no way. No way. That, oh, it might have been, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have been uh, Birdman. <laughs> so he's, so he's not dead. <laughs> God. 
The corridor took you to a small intersection. To your left, there was a doorway to a small room, and to your right, the corridor continued deeper to the darkness. Have you checked in the small room? The room looked like it had one belongs, once belonged to an army officer. There were numerous weapon racks in the room positioned next to an empty shelf. At the back of the room, there was a wooden desk with an impressive-looking leather recliner behind it. Behind the desk, you notice a small cast iron chest and what seemed like a rusty lever. Um, let's check out the weapon racks. These swords and spears still left on the rack. It looks like there must have been uh, been more, but looters have probably taken everything that looked half decent and valuable. Yeah, yeah, we did. One of the swords wasn't completely rubbish, and one of the spears appeared to be in surprisingly good shape. You couldn't carry both around. You didn't want to over encumber yourself, after all. Iron spear or officer's sword? Wow. I think Isar would look cooler with a sword, so I'm going to pick sword. You hear distant chains rattle by the chasm. It seems like the small commotion caused by your exploration reached the ears of someone or something. Um, lever. Lever. Let's go. Looked like a mechanical lever used to control something. You try pulling it, but it was stuck. It didn't budge even a little. It was a curious little thing, but its purpose would remain a mystery to you. A loud creak echoed from the ravine. The dungeons were dead silent apart from the small ruckus caused by you going through the officer's room. Whatever still lived in the darkness would hear you loud and clear. So the next thing I do in here is going, the, the thing is going to come straight in. So I'm just going to... Leave. Yep, I'm going to leave. Corridor took you to a small intersection. To your left was a doorway and a small room, and to your right the corridor continued. So we'll continue. Uh, head deeper. Your torch pushed away the darkness. The dancing light flickered on a lone skeleton chained on the wall. The corridor circled back to the great chasm and suspended platforms. The grid iron bridge connecting the two sides had completely collapsed on this end of the ravine. You notice a rope tied on the platform. On the other end of the rope you saw a corpse belonging to the archaeological expedition. This person had apparently hanged himself. The horrors of the dungeon must have been too much for him. I want that rope though. He pulled the corpse up. You were right in your assessment. The person had modern clothing that looked like the stereotypical western archaeologist. The person had nothing of value. You did pick up the rope though. Okay. Um, Examine the ravine, just in case. You saw faint shapes in the darkness. The platform seemed to be continue on the other side. God knows how large this man-made area really was. Okay, uh, so we'll head back. Your footsteps were the only thing echoing in the air apart from the occasional water droplet headed, heard in the distance as you headed back. There was a doorway to us. No, we're not going there. We are going... Cells? As you walked through the platforms, you heard loud screeching from one of the cells. The noise was coming from the exact cell you feared it would. The huge creature in the cell had woken up from its slumber. A large, humanoid creature busted through the cell door. The thing was naked, revealing its abnormally muscular and scarred physique. Its left arm was missing, replaced with what looked like a long pole or a rod full of thorns and other sharp projections. The most striking feature, however, in this abomination was its head. The thing was a head of a crow, and it was just not in a mask. The feathers seemed to be growing down its neck as well. You couldn't help but take a few steps back. That strong was the killing intent emanating from this thing. Cast hurting on it. Attack it with your officer sword. Um, I'm going to try to slip by it because we're not going to take it out with just a single hit. Crow mauler is, 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 is insane. Give this fella some clothes. Yeah, he's naked. You try to slip past the creature. First you dodge another swing coming by you and then leapt, leapt on the annexing bridge, just barely escaping beyond the crow's reach. You ran across a bridge. The creature followed hot on your trail. The shaky bridge clattered under your feet. Just as you made it on the other side, the whole thing fell to pieces. The hulking mass of the crow mauler was too much for the antique construction. The creature slumped down to the endless chasm with the collapsing parts and pieces. Playing this cautiously seems to be the way to go. <laughs> you were standing on a grid iron platform that was suspended above the dark ravine that opened up below you. The bridge that linked the platform to the other side had collapsed entirely with the crow. 
Beside you, On had few individual prison cells in a row and a staircase leading back to where you came from. Um, we want to go to the back. We want to go back. If you met Chromola somewhere else, you'd be 100% fucked regardless of choice. I can imagine, yeah. Yeah. As you head back up, you once again heard the echo inside your head. This time, you could almost understand some words. Deeper. You must delve deeper. The correct path must have been somewhere at the bloody chamber. There were two staircases in the chamber. One led to the ground level you just escaped, while the other led to the lower levels. In the middle of the chamber, there was a rather new-looking wooden contraption. Ah, uh, we want the contraption. Let's examine the bodies. Most of the bodies have been decaying and decomposing for hundreds of years. Some of the bodies looked fresher than the others, while some were reduced to bare skeletons. The ludicrous amount of corpses did raise some questions to the purpose of this chamber, but there was no one around to answer those questions anymore, so you just took everything at face value. Okay, so we examine the contraption. Use the rope. Osa! Hey, Mechanic Cat, how you doing? What's this chrome molar above my chamber door? You don't want the chrome molar wrapping at your door, that's for sure. You tied the rope tightly to the wooden beams and threw the loose end down the pit. A cold draught could be felt coming from the depths below. You headed down. You climbed down the claustrophobic bloody pit. The pit opened up and the area that revealed itself was even more open than the ravine upstairs. There was a huge cavern beneath the fortress ruins. We're only halfway through this. If we're going where I think we're going, I'm like... We've still got the bottom of the ravine, the mines, the village. And maybe some, some miscellaneous caves on the way too. Jesus, this is this is huge. Oh, what ending are you shooting for? Oh, no, I'm just talking about um, Osar's intro. This has been a whole text adventure so far. It's been about we've been I've been playing it for about it must be like 45 minutes, and we haven't even left his intro yet. <laughs> To be fair, I'm reading it out and that's a bit slower, but you know, <laughs> this is great. <gasps> the rope ended up on top of a crashed wreckage. An iron cage had crashed to the rocky ground from the pit you came from. A closer inspection suggested that it was an elevator of some kind. Needless to say, it wasn't functional anymore. The end destination is the city of Mahab. Oh God, okay. Um, How did you get, I'm trying to remember how we got there because there was a staircase next to the officers quarters that led straight down to right next to the city of Mahab but I don't remember the, the proper way you're supposed to get there guess we'll find out you stood on solid ground next to the wreckage the cave was huge your torchlight left you standing in the middle of darkness with no points of interest apart from a makeshift campsite with a couple of tents and some archaeological equipment Need to steal the cube from the cave people. Oh man, the cave people are still going to be there, aren't they? Let's check out the campsite. You walk up to the tents, you notice there was no signs of life there. The archaeological crew was gone. The campsite had a couple of tents side by side, opening crates full of digging equipment and a makeshift table full of various documents scattered around. Behind the camp, you found a larger digging site. The digging site. Digging site was bigger than how it looked initially. The site expanded to nearby cliffs with wooden platforms leading down a dark chasm. That sounds very useful. Let's do that. You sent it down the dark depths. The echo inside your head returned once again. Misguided soul, can't you hear my call? The words were clear this time. Good. Finally. The voices became even more clearer. This is super sus. A voice calling you from the other side of the world to the most nightmarish place in existence. Well, you know, if, if a being like that sets its sights on you, then you don't really have a choice, do you? That's a shortcut? Yeah, that's what I, was, I was like, that has to be a shortcut, right? So I don't want to go the long way. Not here. <laughs> The archaeological crew had been digging deep and revealed something that should have stayed hidden. 
ancient structures could clearly see, be seen protruding from the rocky surface. The structures looked almost like the remains from a city from another time. The wooden platforms took you straight to them, and a ladder was set and led you inside what looked like a temple or some other place of worship. You climbed in. Most of the temple was dilapidated by the time, but you could still spot some murals on the wall that depicted rituals and gods not known in this day and age. Even if you only witnessed glimpses of something larger, the scale of the building already impressed you. It was unlike anything you'd ever seen. Eastern sanctuaries, the city of Amon, Abyssonia, they all paled in comparison. The voice inside your head was getting loud. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way! Oh, we're in Mahab already. I don't know why, but I thought Mahab was like entirely metaphysical. I don't know why I thought that. I think I'm getting the real Mahab confused with the with the with the um, golden Mahab. You dug the rubble with your bare hands. You turned over wooden structures and pushed away a stone pillar, and there it was. The source of the voice. A burnt and withered head. A severed head, to be more precise. Oh, no way. The head had deep lines running across it. In the place of its eyes were dark and empty sockets. The only hair in its head was a sparse moustache under its big nose. I wasn't expecting a worm like you weaseling all this way down these dungeons. But I'll take what I can get. All earthworms do is dig. Your garments. Hmm. Maybe you do have more than a camel's spunk in place of brains. You are a yellow mage, are you not? You confirm the suspicions of this beheaded oddity. Figures. That's why a measly maggot like yourself could hear my call. Very well. Kneel before me, for I am your master, Nashra, the doom and terror of the modern man. That name, Nashra, that was a name you were not expecting to hear. It was a name even the yellow mages only talked about in the darkest hours of the night. Nashra, the harbinger of the burning crusade. Nashra, the bringer of torment. Nashra, the doom and terror of the modern man. The great wizard from eastern sanctuaries went by many names. He indeed was your master. For this beheaded wizard was the one who gave birth to yellow mages and their ideology. Only that had happened even over a thousand years earlier. There were no records of Nashra for at least five hundred years. Yeah, <laughs> you are a lucky bastard. Lucky indeed. There is a man I want skinned alive. After all, I want to rip their spines. Those maggots that were slumped before me limp and feeble. Your master seemed surprisingly up to date with the twists and turns the world had taken since his absence. He had a mission for you. As a yellow mage, you were supposed to follow your own ambitions and greed. But there was a lot you could learn from this death-defying wizard that could further your knowledge on Dark Mathers greatly. You decided to play along. You were sure that this terror of the modern man was perfectly aware of your reasoning too. That was a typical relationship between a master yellow mage and their apprentice, after all. You were to travel to a small country in eastern Europa with the beheaded wizard, to a town called Preheval. Your master promised events of cosmic proportions. The stars were aligned for something big to happen, something that would turn the tides of the world for good. The head left out details from his story on purpose, but that did little to bother you. You had just jumped to the deep end of the otherworldly world. You couldn't have asked for more. With this little information about the task at hand, how did you prepare for the trip? Stuck up on medical goods? Stuck up on magical goods? Stuck up on food? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say medical goods because you get plenty of food. I can't believe Mal got through Deathless. Kind of missed half the loot. <laughs> I guess because it was I was playing so uh, cautiously. Um, I was really suspicious of everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like there was a lot of loot I missed. Like in the in the offices, office, there were two things that I straight up didn't interact with at all. I think it was like the the chest and um, and the desk. I just didn't I didn't even touch. It's like, nah, nah, not risking it, not risking it. Uh, let's go, actually, let's go magical goods. You managed to find two patches of tobacco and a condensed lavender. Interesting. 
You felt tense since the moment you embarked on this journey. Every night you'd seen nightmares of the horrors that would wait you in preheval. You played super cautiously. I looted every chest and bookcase. <laughs> How many times did you die, though, Bones? Whatever the price, the opportunity was too interesting to pass. With mixed feelings, you continued onwards. Save your character history? Uh, yes. How many saves do I have? One, two, three, here. Four times. <laughs> Skip the intro. Uh, no, I want to see if I can kill the... Um, I want to see if I can kill the uh, the janitor. Because I'm pretty kitted out now. I have a sword. I have hurting. And whatever he starts with by default. Four people had an entire game to beat Fear and Hunger. This dude just waltzes in and waltzes out for his intro. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. You, you got to do toilet percent, right? It's a freebie. Hear voices echoing from the Behezid Wizard. We're in his radius now. Better not let me down now. Wait, does Nishra talk to you throughout the whole game? That's awesome. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that could make Fear and Hunger better is having Nishra talk to you. Okay, my equipment. Items. I'll just read this so I get the so I get the sigil. Actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quit without saving after doing this fight anyway, so I don't really really care. Officer sword, yep. Oh, what's the chick chack? A seemingly simple shaker instrument. The combination of pebbles inside and the various pearls tied to it create a hypnotic rhythm that helps one focus on the otherworldly. Ah. Oh. bag equipment <laughs> beheaded head yeah a dried and burned severed head the face is forever left in a spiteful grimace the head is not without purpose though some kind of power in it reflects otherworldly attacks occasionally damn that sounds pretty good actually yeah you have the head with you um that would be really cool if you could kill osa and then get the head from him traditional wear of a yellow mage the robes have multiple different patterns from multiple different cultures. Different dangly bits and talismans protect its user from otherworldly powers. So what there was an accessory. Let's put that on. Weapon, officer sword, head. No, okay. How could both Grogoroth fight and God of God of Hunger be canon? Not sure I've been downgraded from party member to accessory. That's right, he was a party member in the first one. And he just had he just had like basically every spell. Didn't he? Or almost every offensive spell. He was nuts. How could the Grogoroth fight and God of Fear and Hunger be canon? Uh, what do you mean, talking object? Four different endings are canon. Okay. Uh, what what do I have any healing? I have a, one blue vial. Uh, that's a hundred. Uh, condensed lavender is a hundred mind heal. That's insane. Do I even have a pipe? I didn't even, they didn't even give me a pipe. They gave me tobacco, but no pipe. Okay. Bone saw. Bone saw is ready. Let's go. Okay. This place is at the train anymore. You have been looking for you everywhere. Just where did you think you ran off to? Don't you understand the hurry we're in? Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. Going down to the depths, either having you fight Grogoroth or Fear and Hunger. Both ends with your death. Um, look, I'll, I'll have to hand this one over to Bones, I think. he, I think, I think Bones did every single ending in the game. We can do it the hard way, too. Okay, so guard plus. So he has guard plus? That's interesting. What skills do we have? Party talk? No. Hurting requires a red point. I, I don't have the dance, unfortunately. Okay, so we're going to attack his arm. Ow. 
Ow. I'll take his arm again, because I want to get rid of that arm. Nice. Rev up, rev up. Skills hurting. This guy's whole body. Fuck it. Let's go. Ooh. Rev up. Skills hurting. Okay. Nice. Get owned. I should have just done that from the start. It would have been faster. Monstrosity is down. Search. You find a Kassara. What is a Kassara? Wait, we've been over this. It's a weapon. I, probably, I think it's like a, a two-handed weapon. Not a one-handed weapon. It's the same as the officer sword. There you go. Um, okay. Jam of the head. Nice. So, can you... I'm, I'm going to die. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit that anyway, so I don't care. So, um, I don't. I just want to see what happens when you beat that fight. I got fucking owned though. What do the cubes do anyway? Oh, spooky! Your head hurts. It feels like as you're losing your mind. Man, those dudes look cool. Ah, in the presence of the of the new gods. Apparently, you can unlock the the yellow mage dance though. I mean, Osar literally does it in this game. So, <laughs> what a cool intro. Ah, there you are. The moon. It must be the moon god, you ponder. You've read some vague tales about it during your time at the Amon libraries. Got you pulled out from that nasty place. You were going deep into that rabbit hole. Now you're safe under the beautiful green hue of the moon. Thank you. You're welcome. Since our words could not possibly reach my master, I speak in his behalf. There is a sun god, yes. And who might my master be? Well, let's just say he is the delinquent one. Rare. The tricks of Moonga. We've been in this conversation. You knew it. <laughs> Perkelly, Perkelly. The name does sound familiar to you, but you're not sure where you've heard it before. You're the dreamer. He is the dream. My master has invited 14 of you. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Termina. You finally remember where you've heard the name Perkelly before. This deity is often linked with the so-called Festival of Termina. Information about the festival is murky, but it's often associated with times of great turmoil. Many massacres in history have been blamed on this deity and the moon. Horrible acts have been committed in the name of lunacy. You can't remember much else. The moon god in general is shrouded in great mystery and his ways are often left unexplained. I don't want any part in this. What's the festival? It's a festival to give you, the humans. A peak to grandeur and a chance to reach for illustrious heights. The festival to end all festivals. But you can very confusing for you. So I won't burden you with any more exposition and information at this very moment. If you progress further, I'll gladly answer your questions later down the road. Let us meet again under the moonlight. Wake up, maggot! Maggot! <laughs> I trust you got the gist of things. Let us proceed. We have work to do. Something seems off though. This is not Moon God's usual modus operandi. Trust no one. But me, obviously. As long as you do what I say, I don't actually care about the trust part either. <laughs> it's like talking to Bones. It's like talking to old Bones Jones. <laughs> now, move it, maggot! Okay, okay, um, I'm gonna cool down. Interesting, okay. I will continue. No, 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 no. Seven, yes.
Bones wishes he was that cool. I look. I think every guy at some point secretly wishes he was a, a an enchanted, um, immortal severed head. <laughs> I'm his number one guy. <laughs> wow, Bones needs me. Wow. I'll do it. Day th oh right, right. We just started day three. Gods that dance in the night. Okay, let's see what we have. Mind is pretty low, actually. Do I have anything to help with that? Plenty of vodka. I need a pipe though. I've got a bit of lavender. Maybe use lavender. Doesn't heal much, but I have a bunch, so. Oh, that's it. That's right. And I gave everybody um, spells. So Levi can use right. He's got gun proficiency. Okay. Proficiency with firearms gives you greater accuracy while shooting. Execution. Advanced use of trench guns. You were able to execute a stunned enemy by shooting it again on the field. Which I don't think actually works. And it doesn't matter anyway because you find like two shotgun shells throughout the whole game. So... Guys, don't take shotguns with Levi in his start. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Blood sacrifice. Sacrifice your own blood for Grogoroth, the god of destruction. A blood sacrifice will enhance your affinity with said god. Sacrifices like these were everyday occurrences back in the day. How's it, how's it lewd? <laughs> Gunslinger. Advanced use of pistols. Precise shots can occasionally dismember opponents. Use on field. Ah! That's really useful. So shooting people outside of battle um, can occasionally dismember limbs. That's, pre that's pretty sick. Marksman, advanced use of rifles. You were able to one-shot enemies with the rifle now and then on the field. Jeez, that's awesome. Masturbation. An act of self lunch enhances your affinity with Sylvian when performed on a ritual circle. This act is widely popular among the priests of Vatican when mixed with blood sacrifice. Of course it is. Blood sword. The blood of Ormir boils and rages even ages after his death. Just a drop sends swords to the heart of his enemies. Summon a blood sword to wield in battle. That sounds kind of cool. Mischief of rats. Summon a mischief of rats to disrupt the enemy. Rats spread confusion and disease wherever they go. Okay. I wonder how that works. So a bunch of these I probably won't ever use. Like blood sacrifice, masturbation... Blood sword, maybe probably not even mischief of rats either. And suicide, I kind of don't want to do that. Rot is pretty useful. Um, this this gunslinger and marksmanship sounds really useful though. I think this might be a good way to deal with the mob. You know what? I might go do that. I might go test that out. And you know what? This might be actually this might actually be useful to deal with the mob and use mischief of rats to like deal AOE damage to them. Okay, so we're going to go do that. Um, actually, I gave Olivia pheromones. Which is, I, I don't want to use anyway, but I just needed to take it somewhere. And Dan, I gave healing whispers and loving whispers. Yep. So healing whispers heals uh, health for all party members. And loving whispers heals um, one, one party member. So healing whispers just sounds like a straight up better version. But it does cost a lot of mind. So we're all kitted out. Let's give um, Levi. Uh, we wanted a rifle, didn't we? Rifle. Where's my rifle? Over here. Cool. How many bullets? So I have 16 bullets. Okay, so I can... Might be able to kill the mob before they do anything. Where am I? Where am I? I am in Old Town. Okay, we don't want to be here. We want to go this way. Move, 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 move. I want to see if I can actually kill him. Move, 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 move. It's not killing him. It's not killing him. Why isn't it killing him? Shot the arm of the Dark Priest. Wow. Oh, hey, it blew his arm off. <laughs> okay. Um, what we're going to do is... Can we test out any of these skills? 
Let's see what Blood Sword does. Uh, pheromones. We, we know how pheromones work, so I don't really care about that. Um, let's take out this other arm. And Dan, do you have anything I want to test out? Not really. Okay. Let's take his other arm too. Blood Sword. Levi summons a Blood Sword. That was a cool sound. The decrepit priest gives a sadistic, wired grin. So is he, does he have it equipped now? Maybe. What's this attack? Attack and attack. Oh yeah, he does now. He does attack with a sword. And it seems just like a, a, a high tier weapon. It doesn't seem like amazing, but that sounds like a like a, a decent a decent find. Um. Okay. So let's let's just wail on him. Wail on his buddy. Let's go. Oh, it's not too hard now. Well, I, I guess I guess my team is pretty kitted out now. So search him. Find a soul stone. Sick. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, sort of his head. Father Oscar's head. Oh, he had a name. Um, okay. So, yeah, and now he's unequipped the rifle. Okay. I mean, that checks out. That checks out. Um, let's go back. Be an Oscar Minor Wiener. We didn't, we didn't have Oscar Mayer Wieners here in Australia, so I never, I didn't hear that song until it was on Simpsons. Should I turn in my heads? Can I masturbate here? I think you need to be... Skills. I guess you have to be on, on the sigil. Four seven heads. I want to sacrifice non-contestment. Here we go. The, the best Bologna. You can... Ah, well, I have the masturbation ability now. But I guess it's only on certain sigils you can do it. True Australia got mad at that Australia episode. Um, I honestly don't know. I was... Uh, I don't... I'm not even sure when that episode came out, actually. Um, let me see. Simpsons Australia episode. You know what? I'm not going to say if I was alive or not when it came out. Um... But I honestly, I, I sincerely doubt we got, we actually got angry about it. Um, because those, we make those sort of, sort of dumb jokes about ourselves anyway. Hey, Hubie Chan, how you doing? Clavio emote, someone with good taste finally enters chat. Okay, okay, okay. It's getting pretty bloody foggy. Do I have any money? Let's see. What you gonna be? One, oh no, I've got one shilling. Okay, never mind. Headless. Oh, Mao Moat. Someone with bad taste is in chat. Mm. Sorry, Headless. Excuse me, I have good taste. <laughs> that's, oh man, that emote is so freaky. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. That's, that's, that's 10 out of 10 taste. It's so good taste, you don't even have to say it. And in fact, you don't, you don't even have to post it again. We all just know. We all just know that uh, Pogpin is the... is, is, is best taste. <laughs> okay. Okay, the mob can spawn anywhere around here, but they, they tend to spawn more to the left, to the, to the west. So we'll go that way. What the hell? Oh, dogs! Have I not been down this way? I mustn't have. Okay. Um, well, I'll just change my weapon out because we don't. We definitely don't need the gun to deal with the dogs. They're pretty easy. The shit dogs. Yes, yes, yes. I might be able to one turn this actually. Yeah, yeah, I can one turn this. Sick. They're not. They're not difficult. You just have to um, do a little bit of damage to their body. Um. But sort of the trade-off is um, they have, I think they're guaranteed infection when they bite you. So you, you, don't, you don't want to get bit. 
<laughs> it's either guaranteed or really high chance because I've every time I've been bitten by them, I get infected. So, red herb. Shotgun. Oh, there we go. There's your shotgun shell. There's your one bonus shotgun shell for the game. Okay, okay. The, po the poignant rooftops of preheval rise before you. Okay, so now we, we definitely want to switch equipment because... So, get the rifle. I'm actually going to give everybody guns. You know what? You can have a trench gun. And Dan can get the... Pistol. Go. Actually... Do I have anything I can give him? Leech Munger Ring. I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, let's fucking go! Oh wow, no, I haven't been this way at all. Now, there is a nice ring down here. Well, I say nice, it's... I, I don't think I'd ever use it, but I might as well pick it up while I'm here. Dirty toilet paper, my favorite, my favorite. Get some good stuff here. Hey, buddy. Take some of the wire, thank you. Thorned ring. So the thorned ring gives you poison. It poisons you. But because you're lightly poisoned, you can't get a serious poison effect. Now, I imagine there's a boss or two that that would make a big deal with, but I haven't found them, so... I, I don't know. I, I just took it and I'm like, I don't, I don't really want this ring. So. Red herb, nice. Um, let me just craft. Okay. Oh, let's craft a soul stone. Um, and we'll craft some mixed herbs because they're really good. Actually, I might. Can I craft a blue vial? No, I can't. I'll craft a light blue vial. No? Mixed herbs. Cool. Um, that's all, that's it. I've got a shitload of red herbs now, but no blue herbs. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Let's go. Now, the mob spawns, it can spawn, I think, anywhere in this area. And it's, it's guaranteed in some spots where there's like, it pins you. Which is as delightful as it sounds. Um, 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 and then what I want to do is deal as much damage to them as possible before they actually get to me. Now, do I have a trap of some kind? A bear trap, that should be useful. But it's, it's really tricky to set up the bear trap and still, still get them, especially in some of the spots they spawn around here. Maybe you could try and... I kind of don't want to fight him at the moment. You know what? I'm going to... This is fine. This is fine. Let's go. All right. Hakakun man swings his mallets furiously. Attack his mallet too. Attack his arm. And you can... Nope. Nope. Attack his arm. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Ow! Nice, okay. Good, good, good. Hakaku man loses his balance. Oh, okay, so you shoot him in the nuts and he loses his balance. I mean, we can just wail on his head then. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get Levi to rev up. There you go. Cool. Nice! Too easy! Uh, sort of his head, please. Thank you. the so I'm switching out the weapons because I didn't want to use up much um, I didn't want to use up much ammo during that fight um, no we went that way so that's why I switched Levi back to a spear but now we're switching back to a gun because the mob can spawn and I want to be prepared for them when they appear 
when you go down these alleys, they can and will spawn in front of you and behind you. So it can be difficult to set up traps to deal with them. If you go down that way, right there, the mob will spawn right in front of you and behind you. Um, so honestly, might just get drilled no matter what we do, but I'm trying to figure out a way how to beat them. <sighs> Mr. Streamer, man, there is four people in the kitchen and I wanted toffee. Is this a plot of Fear and Hunger? It is actually, yes. Okay, I think we might have to trigger trigger the mob. I think it we might have to do that. Can I just climb through the window? No. Okay. Yep, okay, we said we gotta wait, wait, wait. I could put the I'll put the pressure plate. No. No, what is it? What is it? What is it? The explosive it's like a what do they call it? Booby trap. It's not very damaging, it can be used to stun opponents momentarily. The bear trap, uh, severe damage if stepped on. Okay, so I'm going to put that down. And the guy's going to come behind us. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, good, good, good. Got one down, got one down. Okay, shot his arm off. Awesome. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, and this guy's just uh, a regular. Okay, so this shouldn't be too hard. We've all got guns, and we're gonna fucking destroy this guy. Oh, and he missed. Sick. Now he should be off balance. Okay, and we'll shoot him in the fucking head. Good. Okay, I shot the arm off the meat grinder. How does that even work? He's like a full body. I, I want to kill the meat grinder, actually, because I want to see if once the mob is dead, then that's it. They're, they're gone. But can I can I line him up for a shot? Ah, <laughs> eat shit. Eat shit. What's wrong with his right arm? Um, he's sort of he's slowly being cocooned in some sort of growth. Oh, he can't get the meat grinder from him. Damn. Okay. So, and we should have... Oh, he dodged it. Okay. Uh, well, this is just going to be one guy. So, I'm just going to go back and equip my regular weapons again. Just to save a bit of ammo. Because I used up a fair bit dealing with that. It was worth it, though, because doing that fight properly... And not scumming that fight is is, an, is a waking nightmare. So, I don't mind spending all that ammo. You're assaulted by a mob and there's only one still alive. <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit. The one with the meat grinder. If you haven't seen him in previous... Oh, that dealt so much damage. Uh, if you haven't seen it in previous streams, the meat grinder, um, when he hits you, um, it deals over 100 damage in a single hit, which, as you may notice, is more health than most people have, or as, is as much as health most, most, most people have. Um, but also, if he doesn't somehow kill you, it will almost guaranteed remove a limb. So your run is basically dead anyway. And so each turn, he's taking someone, he's taking one of your members of the team just out. And you've got the two other guys to deal with. One with a gun and the other one with a mallet. So it's it's a nightmare. Um, cloth fragment. Nice. And she doesn't have a lot of health left, does she? Should we use mixed herbs for 75? No, 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 no. I'll use blue. Blue vial. There we go. Good. Can I pick this back up? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, so it's very good that I was able to deal with that and basically not have to fight them properly. Last stream, I spent a couple of 
couple of times trying to figure out how to do that fight and you can throw glass at them to blind them but even then it's not a guaranteed miss this place seems creepy or typewriter nice a little bit of light oh books archive documents oh archives Oh, is this like a, what is this place? Eyeglasses, nice. What do eyeglasses do? Can I equip them? Oh, you can. Increases the accuracy of its wearer greatly. Oh, that sounds useful. Um, yeah, you can wear it. Is this like a, um, a library or a, no, it wouldn't be a library. Um, like a newspaper or something. Well, the typewriter's there. So we can go upstairs and downstairs from there, but is there anything else? Anything else before we move on? Archive of documents, don't care. I'm not putting the lead ring on, I'm not doing it. It's a really nice chair. It's here. No. Okay. Let's go upstairs, I think, first. We never go upstairs in places. News oh it's called it's called news agency. Obviously it's 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 a friggin' journalist place. Yeah, I am a coward. Have you played this game? Have you seen this game before? It doesn't fuck around, so I'm not I'm not taking that chance. It'll like suck out my soul through my dick or something. You see like can I Filing cabinet is full of old news articles, nothing too interesting. Surely there must be something here. Hey, where'd that guy go? Well, we've already gotten a, a ghost blowjob at the start. Ghost blowjob. Woo woo. Ow. So the cocoon, the, the mallet man. Oh no, there we go. I think the mallet man in in the mob is actually stronger than a regular mallet man. So it's even harder. Ow, that why does the mallet inflict bleeding? That's just mean. Okay. Quick. Yummy. Item healing cloth fragment. There you go. Cool. Let's go. So nothing up here. I've got eyeglasses that was downstairs. Am I just missing something? Maybe it's like on earlier date. Maybe someone like Maybe what's her face comes here. Um Karen. Maybe Karen comes here. Like but like on an earlier day. Because this is the third day and usually nothing good happens on the third day. Electronic power here. Don't, don't, don't do it. Door won't open. Let's force it open. Let's go. Shoo shoo. Can we break it open? No. My doors are too strong for you. Electronic panel. Uh, well, I guess we're not doing anything in here. Well, all right. Let's see if there's anything else in town. No. No, what's down here? Oh, glass. Oh, I can't pick it up. Dried meat. Oh, nice. Uh, rotten meat. Okay. Can I cook? Um, b -b 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 goulash. Nice. Let's go. And so let's. How hungry is he? Not very hungry. Um, honestly, yeah, you guys are fine for a while. Uh, lots of traps around here. Why? Sewer drain. I feel like you can do something with the sewer drains. Oh, Jesus, what's going on? Pre-evil. 
a city that has fallen from grace. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I don't want to fight one of those again. No, it got mm, goddamn. Well, they're not uh, hard, but uh, it's still attack him in the nuts in the in the B sack, I guess. Okay. Okay. Ow! That was just rude. I'm just going to wail on him. There we go. And rev up. Nice. Stop that. That's just rude. Oh, wait, it's not dead yet. This is this is worrying, actually. Um, item. We want to heal her. Um, what's something good I have? Mixed herbs. Blue mixed herbs. You can rev up and attack him as well. Imagine this thing walking up to you and just bitch slapping you, then walking away. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! What is that? No, 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 no! Step on the trap! Step on the trap! Step on the trap! Is that like a zombie? What? Um. Okay. Let me heal real quick. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Without warning, the soldier takes point blank shot at you. Oh shit! What? Um, I'm gonna use a coin for this. Okay. Dodge a shot. Wow. So just he can start the turn with a coin flip. That's insane. Oh, okay, so he's not that strong. But he just has that insane start. Rifle seems to be out of shape and broken. You find two 9mm bullets. Okay. Let's take his hit. Quick. Medical diagnosis. The, the soldier looks physically healthy, but his skin is very dry. Unnaturally so. Parts of it are almost glossy because of the hardened flakes in his face. His eyes are also dim. They look, they almost look like the person would suffer from cataract, but it makes no sense to have someone like that in the army. So it could be something else entirely. The soldier is only protected against fire and slashing attacks, but that has more to do with his uniform rather than his physique. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's another, another guy with a gun. That's another guy with a gun. Why does everybody have guns here? Let's get inside. Surely it's safer inside. Cobwebs slowly wave in the corner as you enter the building. Egg. Nice. Looks a little like the priest. He also had very dry skin. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, he did. It seems like the people who were most affected by the Moon Scorch were... They've all started freaking out and mutating really far. So we saw the original villagers, and they're all, like, pale and gross and melty. And then we see the cocoon people, and they're really, really fucked up. But then you've got soldiers and you've got priests and, and other, um, other people like that. And they're a bit more protected, which is interesting. Um, can I craft a pie or something? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, bookshelves? No. Turnip? Nice. Bayonet. Bayonet. A uh, rifle with a knife attachment. You switch to close range combat easily with this one. Shoot on field with... Oh! <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. So, it doesn't use up ammo when you're not... When you're, when you're in combat. That's useful. So you don't actually, actually have to switch your weapon out. Huh. Interesting. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, though. Oh, no, that's alright. It's not bad, actually. Um, what does Levi have? The spear does do a lot of damage, though. Well, not that much more, actually. You know what? Levi, you get the bayonet. And Dan gets the spear. 
because the spear goes hard. I'm almost out of ammo for this anyway, because I used it all. <laughs> Meat pie, nice. Bottle of beer. That's good, that's good. We're all going crazy, so beer helps. Oh, nice stuff, nice stuff. Come on, baby, come on, ba ah. Awesome. Um, there are a couple of rooms like this scattered around. That's kind of weird that the, that's locked. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, there's a couple of like storage rooms around. There's one as soon as you enter the city, which is really nice. Nice. And this is like all like really good, really good little bits for you. I can craft a veg uh, vegetable pie, I think. Can't do a meat pie though. What am I missing? Dried meat. That's okay. Um, oh, I can craft one of them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Good to go. Now we play the game where we try not to die. Where even am I? Oh well. I don't think I've been out this way. This looks completely different. How big is this game? Deep woods. Deep woods. Ooh. Uh. What was that noise? I'm sure something delightful happens there. Nope, nope, no, no. We're not going out that way. Oh, herb. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Can I go down here? Another herb, please. If you don't mind. Okay, only one. Nope, no such- Oh, fuck, I saw that. Holy shit. Not even a coin flip. You just die. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... <laughs> That's actually impressive. Um, well, I guess that's a good time as any to take a break, isn't it? <sighs> okay, so uh, what did we do there? What did we do there? We fought the mob and drilled them, which was good. Um, killed them almost entirely out of battle. Using Levi's advanced weapon skills. Um, then got to the newspaper and there was nothing there. And then got to the storage room and there was a bit of food. And other other bits and pieces. And, uh, and got the bayonet too. That kind of sucks not having that, but that's okay. And then just died. So didn't actually lose that much progress. Because the important thing about fighting the mob there was learning how to do it. And now... Now I know how to do that, so it shouldn't be too too difficult to to do in the future. Um, yeah, so okay, so we're gonna take a break. Uh, you guys take your break too. Get up, stretch, go for a walk, um, have a little something to eat, and don't get too scared. And yeah, I will be right back.
Hey. How you doing? Hey, thanks for the clip, Dan. Appreciate it. Let's see, was that me? Was that just me dying at the end there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. <laughs> that was pretty bullshit, though. Not even a coin flip. I'm surprised. Usually, at least you get a coin flip instead of an instant death, but. You know, you know. Um, okay. Hey, Khan, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah, you, you good? Thanks for coming in. Sorry, my mind is just still blank from that death. Ugh. Well, let's get straight back into it, shall we? No point sitting around when we've got plenty of deaths to get to. Here we go. All right. So, um, do I need to deal with the mob at all then? I don't think I do. I kind of want to see what's in the forest, but am I that worried? Probably not. No, wait, 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 we do go this way. Because uh, right now, um, I'm up to um, behind the church. So I don't think I really need to worry about the, that side of town. It feels like it might just be like a, an extra area you can go to. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out. Maybe maybe we do have to go back there. Maybe maybe we're locked out of finishing the game until we go there for some reason. You never know, right? Anyway, um, still pretty kitted out, so it's time to go to the church and and fight the goddamn furry again. Oh, fine. Last time I fought the furry, we beat it, but then on its very last turn, it one-shot Dan and then gave us a finger and left, and, and we didn't even get the, the pleasure of killing the damn thing. That's so annoying. Okay, wait a second. Almost left his head behind. That'd be silly of me. Do I have necromancy? Levi. Wait, what? What? I'm Levi. Uh, what? Yeah, I, um, <laughs> uh <laughs> maybe yeah it's it's probably a bug right cuz when i go and, and visit um uh per kelly he says levi's dead so i think it's just a, a something's gone wrong and, and events triggered incorrectly don't shoot me 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 damn it ah why did he shoot me Teeth cat. Bobby's back alive again. That's weird. Thought I killed him. Oh, well, Bobby's not that hard anyway. Uh, is it this way? No, down. Down. Right. Oh, Bobby's back. Oh, they must. the Bobbies must respawn or something. Because I'm pretty sure I killed them. Somebody said there was... A sigil in here. Can we interact with like buildings or something? Anyway, anyway. Do, 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 do. 
ba, ba, ba. Oh. Felicia Effigy, the best, of course. All right, let's boogie. Some enemies, you got to beat them to put them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, also, hey, how you doing, Mirage? Good to see you. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, beating at the bobbies and killing them. But I wonder if I killed them on a different. I've, you know, I've died so many times playing this that it's it's hard to tell what I've done in this in this playthrough and what's been erased by dying. You know. Um, okay, so we have a couple of hard, not hard fights, but, well, they're not that difficult really at all, are they? If we go the right way. And the way I went last time was this way, I think. And then there's um, a mind flayer here, yep. And, what am I going to do? Do I care about any of this? Not really. Let's just attack his arm. Attack his arm, and what skills do you have? Healing, okay. Attack his arm, okay. Nice. Can we kill him before he possesses somebody? No. No, we can't. Ah, of course it's Levi. God damn it. Um, attack that. No, rev up and then attack that. Okay. Oh, oh, good, good, good. He, they don't deal much damage when they're possessed, it seems. <laughs> gross. Very gross. Let's attack the body. We should be able to kill him quickly. Oh, that hurt. Uh, oh, we have Levi back? Yes, we do. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go. Wow, he's quite... <laughs> he's... What is he? Bleeding and he's infected. Nice. There we go. Good, good, good. Not so hard, but that's sort of annoying. Um, okay. So, because he's infected already, what I'll do is I'll use a dirty toilet paper and then use a white vial. Because we have to use a white vial on him anyway. So we may as well just use the cheap toilet paper. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The toilet paper is disgusting, but... It can be better than nothing. Cloth fragment, and we use it on Olivia. Why is he still infected? Did I use it on the wrong person? What? Am I? I'm an idiot. I'm a. I'm an absolute idiot. Is what I am. I was using. I was using the white vial instead of the green herb. Yeah. <laughs> oh God damn it. What's it dirty with? Um, it's just dirt. They, they just left it on the ground. You can see in the picture, see? It's clearly just little bits of dirt on there and absolutely nothing else. Don't even worry about it. Um, Olivia is a little bit hurt, so what I'll do is I'll just give her a little bit of healing. There we go. Four shillings. Actually, do these guys drop anything? Lavender petals. Oh, let's go. Pet pills, piece of chalk, blue herb, glass vial. Not bad. Not a bad haul. Can I make anything? Make a light blue vial. Not that worried. Mixed herbs. Uh, yep, that's good. Looks good. All right, let's go. And this side is the easier side. And it's just a pillar man. The pillar man aren't that difficult, really. Uh, okay, we might need a couple of turns to actually kill it though, because you might need to rev up to deal enough damage in a single turn. Oh, no, we got him. Awesome. That still hurts a bit. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Too easy. 
The pillar men have, the, you can attack their six abs and one of them will bubble each turn and it changes which one. And if you, you break that one on the turn that it's bubbling, then you get, you just kill it instantly. Wait, did you not search? Oh, okay. Uh, Olivia's sort of really hurt. Mushroom stew, bear trap. Nice, nice, nice. Booby trap. Cool. Are we straight into the fight here? No. Not dealing with whatever that is. Don't even talk to me. Do I have to? I do have to go in there. Okay. Okay. This is the part which is annoying. How much healing do I have? I only have two bits of healing left. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. I have healing whispers and loving whispers. Heals a considerable amount of health. Precariously, the whispers effects are solely based on Sylvian's whims. Oh, that's worrying. Wait, did they nerf uh, the furry? That's good, because that fight was fucking sucked. Oh, wow, that heal is so good. Oh, wait, how do we how do we use the pipe? Um, where's the pipe? Pipe, 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 pipe. Yes. Smoke tobacco. Who will smoke the tobacco? Dan. Puff, puff. Nice. Okay. Um, let's... Use all the best equipment. I think I've only got like two shotgun rounds left. Let's see. Yeah, literally two rounds left. So you can instead have the rifle. I believe the rifle is good. And what's the pistol look like? The pistol's about the same, actually. I have another rifle, but I don't think I have that much rounds to, to do that. We'll see. And Dan can have, the spear is really good, but it's two-handed. And I believe this boss can chop off limbs fairly easily. So I might instead give him, I might instead give him the officer sword. Yeah. Um, anything? Majors were able to infuse this ring with life draining magic. You no, know, fuck it, fuck it, Dan. You can have the leechmonger ring. You can, you can, you can wear it and see what it does. Um, no, no. Um, okay. So sixteen of those, and how many? Where are the bullets kept, actually? In just items. Nine mil bullets, six bullets. That's okay. Okay. Okay, there you go. We've we finally got the ring on. Is it actually is it dealing damage to him? Actually, let me check. We walk around a little bit. It's not. Can I just not do this fight? No. <laughs> I wanted to walk past it. <laughs> hey, biscuit, how you doing? Yeah, good. We're about to get fucking owned in this fight. Rancid the Sergal. Machineko Kone Magnificent Rancid the Sergal. That is my name. The last name you hear before heads start to roll. My blood is rushing wild. The creature seems surprisingly hyped up. Okay, so I can't actually... Misses for rats. Let's go. Misses for rats, boys. We're finally using it. Oh, um, can Olivia do anything? Not really. Olivia is going to shoot him in the arm. And Dan, of course, is going to analyze. Look, yeah, this boss is a bit cringe. If this was a bonus boss, I wouldn't mind, but it seems like you actually have to, you actually have to fight this boss, so... Uh, rev up, attack him in the head, and rev up, attack him in the head. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's so much damage. It's so good. Nerf Dan, man. Nerf Dan. <laughs> no damage circle. No damage circle. Eat shit. <laughs> That was a turn three win, wasn't it? That was turn three. You shouldn't meddle with things you don't understand. Humans truly are the pest of this world. The forces of the moon are whacked up because of you lot. The parasites leeching on the moon. That's why there's so much random shit happening everywhere. Doppelgangers replacing missing folk. Old deities rising up from their graves. Space and time tearing up. The forces are desperately trying to fix the balance because of you knuckleheads. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I think I might... I might add that to the clips list because that was a pretty fast win. Could be better though. It could be better. Dan's skill is insane. I'm off. I don't even bother tainting my blade with your foul blood. I don't, I don't know if he entirely fits with the feeling of the game because I know for a fact that he's a reference to a YouTuber. Doppelganger is replacing missing folks, so it's not a bug. You know what? But that mean that would mean I'm playing as a doppelganger because the god of the moon would know if I was a doppelganger, if if the true Levi was dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah! I I think I think it's actually a bug. Because you only, it sort of says that the god of the moon is there. And if it was like, if you were canonically a doppelganger, you would freak the fuck out at seeing your own corpse. And it, and it just said, Levi's dead. And it's like, oh, okay. A partly charred body. There seems to be something hanging on its neck. Investigate first. The body has gone through intense physical trauma. Looks like he suffered from severe burns. You find a soul devour necklace. Cool. Um, okay. So who gets that? Who gets the necklace? Who needs who needs the necklace? Soul devour. What does that do again? What does that do again? Protects against otherworldly Oh! I oh we don't need that yet yet then. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, let's change weapons. I don't want to keep using my gun. Um, you can get the spear. And Olivia can get the, the meat mallet. Um, hang on, I think the axe is actually a really good one. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You can get the meat mallet. Fuck it, let's go. Let's go. And Dan had the spear, didn't he? No, he had the officer's sword. Okay. Wow, Levi's got a really low mind. Why is that? Take this off and give that to Dan. So I'll give Dan the beetle stone so he slowly heals mind over time. Okay. Let's go. Temple site. This is the furthest I've gotten. This is the furthest I've gotten. A crude lantern. Is this a is this a Bloodborne reference? <laughs> Summer snake rune. Holy shit. Let's go. Um, that prevents you from getting limb loss, getting burned, and bleeding. Like, it's insanely, it's insanely good. Wow. That's ridiculous. Church of Ormir, shopping district, St. Dominic's Orphanage. Okay. Metal lantern, pipe. What is that? What is that? Let's fight one and see what it is. No, wait, 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 wait. I want to save because I want the salmon snake rune permanently. I want to keep it. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Can I can I do anything here? I don't think so. 
No, I can't do anything here. Okay. Um, but this guy's going to be right there, so... I think we are going to have to fight him straight up. That's okay. I probably won't die. Probably won't die. A menacing creature approaches you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I always got a spear. Fuck. Okay. Um... Um, 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 um... There is a glitch where if Dan has the Sam Snake room, he can resurrect party members without losing a limb. Oh, goodness. That sounds incredibly strong. Um, okay. Oh, his name is a bell end. <laughs> That's fantastic. Come on, break it off, break it off, break it off. Yes, good. Harden. Choke. Oh, that was painful. Um, okay. Let's rot this guy. Olivia doesn't actually do anything useful. Um, 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 um. No, I think, I think we should be able to survive whatever is coming next. So, let's go. We'll rot to basically weaken him up a bit more. Is this just sit here and keep buffing his defense the whole time? Oh, this is good. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Um, what else can I do? I could go Mischief of Rats. What's my mind like? It's kind of low. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Mischief of Rats. Let's see what it does. Um, attack. And I'm going to actually heal Dan because he's. if he gets choked again, he might actually die from that. And I kind of don't want that. Rats. They are the rats. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Um. Oh, it confused him, so he can't... He doesn't... He's not doing anything this turn. Nice. Nice and rev up, rev up, rev up, and attack his arm. Get rid of that. Man, it's taking no damage on his arm anymore. Oh, there we go. Finally. Finally, what a gross looking dude. Absolutely disgusting. Um, okay, so we'll get take out his legs now. So this is what the people are all transforming into, giant penises. This is definitely Sylvian's doing. So, the question is, why in the Festival of Termina is Sylvian's stuff going down? Can you stop doing that, please? That's gross. Okay. <sighs> so many people trying to deal you. Sounds like everyone with dicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, six attack on the one leg this turn. Should be able to break it, right? There we go. Okay. I should be able to take him out next turn. Oh, Olivia, you bloody... Is his head not... Okay, there we go. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. What are we going to do with you? Oh my god. Okay, so it seems like the go is to just use Dan's, <laughs> Dan's anal analysis and then just take out the head as soon as, so as soon as possible before he starts hardening. Otherwise this fight is just way too tedious. Creature seems to be gripping tightly onto something. You find a lucky coin. Hell yeah. Medical diet. Let's beat him. Just in case. No reaction. But each kick gives you satisfaction. Okay, what does Dan have to say? The creature has a sturdy, shell-like exoskeleton that seems to protect it from most kinds of attacks. Only piercing and otherworldly powers seem to penetrate the surface effectively. The skin, or surface layer, feels like hardened leather that is burned to crisp. The skin gets thicker towards the head of the creature, which is especially well protected. If this creature was once human, I suspect it is at the end of its metamorphosis by now. Interesting. 
Let's circumcise this dude. I took the bell and head. <laughs> gross. So gross. Oh, wow. This is loads of stuff. Nice. Wait, what? What? Artificial soul? What the hell was that? Artificial soul? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. There are rumors that Bremen experimented with creating artificial souls to power their unholy rituals. If this is truly one of those, it could be used to channel otherworldly more effectively. Okay. So it, it lets you cast spells more effectively. I guess it, it lowers the cost or something, which would be pretty useful. Um, I'm going to get that to Levi, actually. Do I want to get that to Levi? No, no, I don't. Because I'm going to give it to Dan. Because Dan has my healing spells. Um, okay. Okay, that sounds like a pretty cool accessory. I really, really, really want to save right now because I have some banger stuff. I have some amazing stuff and I, I kind of don't want to die and lose it. Back in the shopping district, eh? Run into Death Mask yet. Oh god, yeah, I didn't figure out how to beat him, but he's easy to avoid, so... Nope, 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 nope. That's a suspicious bridge, and I'm not going up there. I'm going to go save. Look, this is one of those times where it's... It's best to be cautious. Because getting the Salmon Snake Rune and then Artificial Soul feels like insanely... No, god damn it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay, 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 what are we doing? 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 We're confusing him. We're confusing him. She. She is going to attack his arm. Dan is going to analyze. Good. Good, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. Um, 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 I, I don't know how tough this guy is because I've never beaten him before. Uh, shit. Rev up and we're just gonna, we're just gonna wail on his head. While we have a free turn. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yes! Eat shit. Ha ha! Nice. I guess he's not that hard. But I've never, I've just never... The last time I fought him, he cut off all my limbs. Can I cut off his fucking head? Let's go. Dan is so strong, guys. Medical diagnosis. Let's see. I'm confused. I can still feel a pulse from this thing. All the wounds and beating this guy took would suggest that he's good as dead, but no. I don't know. Don't ask me these hard questions. Even I don't have all the answers. Death mask and chainmail address. Oh, okay. Um, death mask. Whoa. Whoa. That's really good. 
a burial mask used in old Bohemia. The mask is designed so that the death gurgle of its wearer sounds more like laughter of joy. Because of its connection to death, the mask has otherworldly properties. Look at that, plus 20 magic attack. That's insane. Um, Levi's getting that. And it's only like taking off three defense. That's sick. Um, Dan, you can get that. And... Chain my address is a bit nicer. Nice. Okay. Um, anything else? I think we're all good. Oh, I should, I should probably give her that ring to heal up. Okay. I really need to save now. Yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. Wooden coffin. Open it. Coffin is empty. Only a foul odor fills the dead space. Well, I cut I cut his fucking head off. Surely he's not coming back from that. He says, knowing full well that the death mask is going to come back from that. Is there a shortcut we can open up? Is there a shortcut? Probably not. Uh, it would be nice if there was a shortcut. Who said his brain was in his... That's a good point, you know. You know, I'm being, I'm being judgmental. Especially, especially in pre-heaval. <laughs> this absolute nightmare of a place. Come on, there we go. Come on, come on, this way, this way. Come on. Let's get them both up here. Too easy. Juked. Outplayed. Outmatched. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ah, okay. So, sorry guys. This might be a little boring to watch me backtrack so much, but I'm in an incredibly good spot here. <laughs> And I don't and I don't wanna I don't wanna lose this cool shit I just got. You don't understand how important the salmon snake rune is. You don't understand. Where's the closest save point? Where's the closest save point, guys? Where is it? Where is it? Beat him. Just in case. Cool. Take his head off. Yeah, it is incredibly lethal, and we I had that perfect run on the boss. No damage, turn three. That was that was really good. Even with Dan, that was pretty good. Um. So, yeah, I would I would I would like to save after that. Um, are there beds in here? I think so, actually. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't! God damn it! Let's have a quickie look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've been doing. Death, oh, is that another death mask? <laughs> My goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Um, yeah, Dan, you can get that. Cool. Another death mask for free. It's free real estate. Oh, okay, well there's no there's no bed in here, but what's in here? Bookstore. Um, I think we already did everything in here. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, I even saved. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, there's a bed here. Cool. Let's use this. Um, okay. 
Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed, guys. Here, moan. Oh, god damn it. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's just a bobby. Oh no, a bobby. What am I gonna do? Stop growing back. That's annoying. This fight would really suck with anything less than three people, though. Oh, God damn it, Olivia! God damn it, God damn it. Hey, thanks for the follow, Khan. How you doing? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Olivia... Give her a... Give her a wheelchair back. But we should be able to get him before he can attack. Yeah, there we go. Okay, not so hard. Not so hard. Beat him. Boom, boom. Too easy. Search. Blue vial? Hell yeah! Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Fingers crossed, guys. Come on, come on. Yes, got him. And watch this. It says I'm dead. Seven still remain. Oh, wait. No. No, I didn't kill that soldier in this run. So one of them just died. That's weird. That's weird. Um, Hexen. I have one good boy point. Um, what's this? Flesh puppetry? Don't really care. Is there anything that I kind of... I don't really want anything. Steel wouldn't be so bad, I guess. I hear that's pretty good, actually. Intimidate, killing intent, explosives. What explosives does? Um, brain flare or heart flare? I don't really know what they do. My phone is broken and on my computer I forgot my password some on my iPad. <laughs> I appreciate, I appreciate the hustle. Thank you. Um... I'm not hurting for items so much that I would, I would need steel. I, f I feel like steel would be fantastic at the very start. And then you can like gear up really quickly. But I don't really need it as much now. But uh, I guess I do need healing items. But I don't know how, I don't know what the chances are. So I'm just going to say, uh, brain flower, heart flower. I'm going to go heart flower. Oh. I can't anyway. Well then, um, I guess we're going steel. <laughs> Who will learn steel? Um, let's put it on. Oh, I'll just put it on Levi. No, wait, no. I'll put it on Olivia because Levi is, has more important things to do. Olivia can learn to pickpocket stuff when she's in her wheelchair. She'll just slide up to you. Uh, do you want to save over this one? I'll save over. I'll save over the top one. I had a fourth party member earlier. I had well, at the time it was three. I had um. Levi, Olivia, and Marina, or Marinara. And, and then Marinara died during a fight, which really sucked. Um, so who has the healing stone? You do. I want that back, please. And you can have the Soul Devour necklace for a bit. And Levi can have... The Ring of Wraiths. Good. The Ring of Wraiths will slowly heal his body back up. So we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so... Are you able to go back to her corpse and have Dan resurrect her? No. No, Dan's resurrection only works during the fight when someone dies. 
and that it's 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 like it's very explicit about that in the ability description. <laughs> I forgot I I made those those egg emotes um an Easter uh Easter not this year but the year before so 2001. And I was like, oh, it's just temporary. I'll just change it out when we stop being Easter. And I just completely forgot about it. <laughs> but see, you can combo. You can combo the emotes like this, right? So you're holding, holding out an egg. But people weren't as interested in, in combo emotes as I thought they would be. It's a little awkward. That's okay. All right. Now we don't have to do anything more in here, do I? We just keep walking through. Uh, I'm not going in that room because that sounds like a waking nightmare. <laughs> Oh, glow stick. Everyone needs a glow stick emote. Everyone. 100%. Oh, this is going to be right here. Shit, they are. Can I do it? No, I got stuck. God damn it. Wait, okay. So the way to do this fight is to wail on his... On his spear. What was her skill? Steal. Yeah, you can steal. And then Dan, analyze. Yoink! What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Nothing. God damn it. Oh, shit. Okay, so he hardens first turn. And he chokes. And he throws a spear. I'm just getting out of here. I don't want to deal with this fight, actually. I kind of want to reset. Okay, I'm going to reset then. <laughs> uh... Well, you live and you learn, right? Good thing I just saved. <laughs> yeah, phasmophobia. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it curable? <laughs> Stop that. Stop shooting me. It's not very nice. Come on, Bobby. Thank you. Beta down here. Yeah, I played Phasmophobia a couple of times. I didn't like it at all. Even as like a party game, I felt um, I just didn't enjoy it. It just felt too clunky and unpolished. And that's why some people like it, but that's why I didn't, so. Okay, actually, how's my equipment looking? Equip. Oh, I need to change this around, don't I? Um, you don't get the Ring of Wraiths. You get... You get the Eye of Sylvian, actually. And Levi gets the... Oh, you actually mean you legit have phasmophobia, not the game or anything like that. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the game. I didn't mean to make fun of you. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's so hard to tell on the internet these days. <laughs> Don't meow dot 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 me. <laughs> Okay, should be able to avoid the fight this time. No, I got stuck in the exact same spot. Ah, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Okay, um, just guard and should be able to get out of it.
Okay, okay, okay. And the next one is right next to me. Uh, I think I'm going to have to kill one of these at least. Okay, so... Mastery over... No, 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 no. Mischief of Rats. And that way he will stay stunned for a turn and that will give me time to break his... Break his spear. That's the most important thing is breaking the spear because that spear deals insane damage. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yes, attack that. And then Dan will use Analyze. Can you reset and set a trap before this fight? Uh, yeah, probably. But um, it is just a bit of an awkward position. And, oh shit, what did I do that for? Um, and, wait. Head there. Rev up. No. Rev up. Attack. Head. Um. <laughs> no fighting. No fighting in chat. Everyone's just taking the piss, alright, guys? <laughs> um. Yeah, this is a really awkward. What's my mind like? Okay. Um. Mr. Rats. Yes, that stops him from doing anything for two turns. It stops attacking for two turns. Um, take out the arm first, and we'll analyze next turn. Okay, this is a good strat. Yeah, the the damage from the rats is 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 pointless, right? You, you don't you don't do that attack for the damage. You do it for the stun. <laughs> Finally, Bones comes to put his foot down, right? Everyone just listen to Bones, okay? Um, I'm going to rev up and break the arm. The arm needs to go. And Dan will analyze. Yep. Should be good. Good, 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 good. Oh, holy hell, that was a hell of a crit. <laughs> okay. Search 10 shillings, nice. Sort of his head, thank you. Yep. Yeah, so we're at the stage of the game where at, at, towards the end of the first game too, you'd have enemies that when you search them, it says it's gripping tightly onto something and it's, it's always a little better than what you'd find on other enemies. And I guess we're at that stage of the game now. So we are definitely getting close to the end. Okay, uh, Levi is... What does Beetlestone do again? Um, that just sort of... Refills your mind, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, this is alright. We can just leave that as is for now. Wait, was there a door down here? No. No, there wasn't. We're on day three, though. Isn't that when the game ends? Yes, it ends at night time day three, I believe. Um... I just have to finish the game before day three. Okay, so let's just poke around a bit. Where the fuck am I? Oh, we can go straight to the tower. Let's go to the tower. Boys, we're finally at the tower. It's only been three days. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. How hungry is everybody? Actually, kind of hungry, but whatever. I feel like something is going to happen here, so I'm actually going to re. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna top everybody up. Okay. Um. Don't really need to heal body, but I will. Where's my wine vial? Did I pick up the wine? No. Right. The wine was from the the last playthrough where I died. Okay. Just murder the rest of the contestants. I can't even find the rest of the contestants at this point. Um, this is this is alright. I might change. Do I want something better for him? I feel like we're gonna be fighting things with otherworldly powers really soon. But you know what? You know what? That can that can wait for a second playthrough. Uh, sorry, a second, a second playthrough, a um, a reset after we inevitably die to whatever's next. Something about the tower in front of you feels wrong. 
your primal instincts tell you to run away. Well, this whole place has been wrong, so he's dead. There's a gaping slash rune across his chest that looks relatively fresh. You get an army uniform, Luger pistol, and 10 9mm bullets. Oh, that's all right. Medical diagnosis. Seems dead to me. Don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, this is Pav. <laughs> Shut up, Bones. <laughs> so, when I slept last, Pav was crossed off. And I guess this is when he died. He's right here. He fought something. Um, that's not a good sign, is it? It's really not a good sign. Um, I am going to heal up. Heal. Heal Levi. Okay. I do need real redeems. I've... I, I can't, I haven't been thinking of, thinking of what to get, so. If you have suggestions for new redeems, then please let me know. And I will consider them and probably not do them. <laughs> fucking axe. Man, this is a slaughter zone. You feel dizzy being this close to the monolith. Your sight becomes blurry, and you can hear your blood rush in your veins. One point. Give all... <laughs> so yeah, you heard that, man. Somebody give Bones a sub. Maybe you should do a change to channel redeem to switch up your face. Oh, that'd be interesting. A large stone door stands tall before you. Hey, thanks for the follow, Kaya. Olivia. Dun, dun, dun. There's something wrong about this tower. I don't think we should be here. Olivia. You know when the best time to say shit like that is? At the train. Not three days later through this blood-infested hellhole when we've been murdered and murdering our way through it. Olivia, come on. I feel like something to... Yeah, yeah, is it, is it Olivia? Your, your wheelchair is only on the corpse of some random dude. Your heart beats loud as a drum just by being so close to the tower. Adrenaline is rushing through you. You cannot explain this feeling. You are at the same time both terrified and tempted to touch the intricate ornaments of the ancient stone slab door. We're not coming this far and not touching the door. Hey Kaya, tarot redeem. I used to have that, but doing tarot readings is time consuming. And it would just slow the stream right down. Which is unfortunate because I did, I did really enjoy doing the tarot reading. So I, I, in the end, I just ended up doing... I used to do like one stream a week dedicated to tarot readings, and that was a lot of fun. Melissa door. Hell yeah, we're touching the door. Whoa. Dun, dun, dun. It has been a while. What do you say? I didn't say anything. My head. This is the only way to get answers? Fine. I accept your proposal. Oh god, no, what's happening? Oh shit. Oh, hello there. What? <laughs> he spoke. What? Wait. What? Wait, did Did Dan just transform into Pocket Cat? Is that what happened? Oh god, oh god, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Oh, he got my stuff! Oh, yeah, right, right, talk, talk, talk. Stole catnip. <laughs> oh, you nicked that one? Sure thing, old chap, you can keep it. I got plenty more. My pockets are very deep, you see. We've got quite a pickle here. You see, my master has made it very, very, very clear that I shall not let my dirty little paws affect the course of events during the festival. But what is a gentleman jewel without an adrenaline rush of excitement? I cannot just stand here idle. Now can I, old sport? So, I came up with the most perfect solution. If you tell me what to do, I'm just following your wishes, right? Right? So tell me. Which limb would you have me remove? Do not worry. My touch is gentle, yet firm. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to do anything. Oh, what well, poppycock. Sure you do. Don't be shy. So tell me, 
Which limb would you have me remove? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're not doing anything. <sighs> You're kidding. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna see, see saying. So is this is this a trade-off for Dan being so strong? Even better, Kala. Even better. Um, Dan transformed into this guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Oh. Oh, Salmon Snake. Oh, Salmon Snake is clutch. Get fucked. Get owned. Oh, yes. Yes. Salmon Snake Rune, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's insane. And to think, I almost gave it to Dan because of the exploit with him. But I didn't. I left it on Levi because my heart said so. I'm going to keep stealing cat- wait, 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 hang on. What does catnip do? Can I use it? Yeah. <laughs> I've given these past few days some thought and I can't really put my finger on it. There's something awfully familiar about all of this. Don't you think, old sport? I've got this weird sense of deja vu from the most random of things. Like, please do stop me if you've heard this before. There is an ominous moon staring down on us. This term, Termina, thrown around awfully a lot. The accidental inclusion of Bremen army to all this. The three-day time limit. And did you get to see those lovely owl cultist chaps yet? No. No, I haven't. It's all just so... familiar. Right? I'm so glad to have met you. There is some serious brain leakage going on between the two of us. That has led me to think of how myths and legends are born in the first place. Everyone knows the classics that originate from mere fairy tales told to children before their bedtime. I would be the one to know them better than many, if you catch my drift, dear friend. Time took those tales and kept telling them again and again. Like a good broken telephone, the stories took new forms depending on who was telling them. The living pictures we see on the silver screen would barely be recognisable to the sweet little children folk who first heard the tale hundreds of years ago told by their mothers. It's a wild ride for sure. What do you think will happen to modern tales crafted straight to the silver screen in this day and age? Are we going to take elements from those stories and keep honing them to perfection as well? Let the good old broken telephone keep the good bits while we selfishly craft new meat around them. Are we going to see this ill-tempered, rightly so, pale old moon threat mankind a time and time again with his strict three-day limit? Are we going to dress in these silly little masks and act the parts meant for the people that came before us? What do you reckon, love? I generally don't know myself. The stories will keep changing with the times. We'll stick to the originals. There's always been someone to rip off popular stories. The stories will only briefly live in this day and age and vanish. I don't care. Stories keep changing. Well, obviously they'll keep changing. Hmm. It's food for thought, that's for sure. Catnip. What does catnip do? So tell me, which limb would you have me remove? Do not worry. My touch is gentle, yet firm. Take my arms then. Oh, ooh. So it still deals damage, but Salmon Snake is completely blocking it. That's insane. That's so good. <sighs> Pocket Cat's eyes light up. Oh god, what is he doing? 
Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is he doing this? Oh, man. You can't just be choosing your arms all the time. There are no loopholes in this little game of ours. Now be a good sport and choose something else. No one likes a bad loser or a cheater. Oh, you steal catnip from him and it, and it heals you like one. Legs it is. Your wish is my command. Oh, he targeted Olivia. Uh, <laughs> the girl in a wheelchair. He targeted her legs. Okay. Actually, it doesn't seem like a guaranteed dismember because I don't think she lost her leg. Um, anyway. I'm gonna go Mischief of Rats. That should stop him from dis- No, it won't stop him from dismembering because his dismember isn't a proper attack. Um, okay. Um, Olivia, you can rev up, rev up, rev up, and tax up. Can we take his arm off, please? Please, please, please. Nope, 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 nope. Can you? You. Oh, you're my chosen one. Let's have a little one-to-one, -one, shall we? Pocket Cap is whispering his secrets to you. Oh, no. It can't be. Outrageous. You feel sick. No more. Please. All manner of emotions and knee-jerk reactions tingle your spine as Pocket Cat's secrets invade your mind. Not much unlike his fingers that invade your privacy last night. Oh god. You are shocked and paralyzed of fear and confusion? No one knows. Oh man. <laughs> oh. It seems like it's got a decent miss chance as well, which is interesting. Can you stop rubbing yourself? Please, Pocket Cat, please. Stop. Please stop. <laughs> Where? how much health does this? Uh, I can't just be choosing your legs all the time. He is tanky, yeah. Please don't get Olivia. Okay. Um, okay, so what skills do I have that can actually do something to him? Nothing really, actually. Hmm, okay. Um, how about her? Do I have anything? No. Okay. There we go. Is that a way to treat a fellow gentleman? Oh, behave. <laughs> you. Oh, you're my chosen one. Let's have a little one-to-one, -one, shall we? Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He's great. Okay. Oh. Jesus, it took like 2,000 damage to take out his bloody arm. Interesting. Okay. So, legs seems to always target the second slot and arms targets the first slot. And I guess take off the head would target the third slot, but we don't have a third slot, so. Okay, rev up, rev up. I'm gonna take out his legs next, because I imagine his body is incredibly tanky as well. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. 
Um... Oh, so we can stun people too. It's starting to hurt. This is starting to really hurt, actually. Uh, let's heal up then. Oh, am I out of, out of my good healing items? I am. Jesus. Uh, that's annoying. Yeah! How is he doing that? I thought that would stop. But I guess I was wrong. It, I guess it's his mouth, his mouth then, yeah. Miss, nice, okay. Okay, so attacking his arms is kind of pointless. It seems to stop his... He can't do gentle rubbing anymore. Wow, okay. So the way to beat Pocket Cat is to ignore everything and just wail on his chest. Because his chest was actually kind of weak. Absorb the blank soul. Whoa. Am I going to get my stuff back from that fight? Probably not. Do you feel this too? What is happening to me? Maybe you miss this completely after you remove the... Oh, maybe. Yeah. I can't fight it much longer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, what is this? <laughs> uh. Okay. Um. Let's talk to... Don't look at me! I won't, just calm down. Don't look at me. Close my eyes. You cannot move. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so the ring is used to prevent the, the bad poison in this fight. Interesting. Whoever's with you gets when you get to the tower just becomes their monster form. Okay. Oh, so they all get corrupted over time. And then, at the end, it's sort of like a boss rush. I wonder how it picks who, who goes first. Interesting. Much to think about. Um, I want to go Mischief of Rats because fuck you, I love my rats. Okay, 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 okay. Can I, do, I, do I have anything I can heal with? I, I don't think I actually have anything. It hit like a blue herb, which does nothing. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure this fight is lost, but so let's see what else we can do. Let's see what talking does. Don't look at me. What on earth happened to you? Happened? I've been this way forever. Oh, that's interesting. Not all of them get corrupted, but they get warped by Rur. Okay. Um, skills talk. I won't just calm down. Don't look at me. Why? I'm a monstrosity, an abomination, part machine, barely human. Okay, looks like you can't talk your way out of that one. Unless you just keep closing your eyes for the whole fight. That'd be interesting. Okay. And you can get into these fights if you do certain things. Oh. I'm, I did find um, uh, Marilyn Manson corrupted in the sewers. Um, I think that's the only other corrupted fight I've done. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I've done any others. Yeah. 
Um, might take a short break now because we're just bang on three hours. So it'd be good to go to take a quick break. So uh, make sure you get up and stretch and move around and don't get corrupted by Rur. Um, don't get moon scorched. Um, don't go crazy. Well, you can go crazy, but it's, it's preferable if you don't. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you in a little bit.
Hey, we're back. We're back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So, now we've got the boss rush to deal with. Uh, Pocket Cat is hard enough. I wonder if I should just let Pocket Cat kill, um, what's her face? So I don't have to deal with her transforming. I wonder if that's the play. Just let Pocket Cat kill, kill Olivia. <laughs> I might explore around a little bit first to see what else is out there um, before doing that fight, just to see if there's other useful stuff. Um, you know. Okay. Losing Dan is a big deal. Because he's got my fucking heels. I shouldn't have... Okay, pro tip. Don't give any other characters abilities. Just put them on your main. I gave those two abilities. Not that I've used them a lot, but still. Mm, where's the Bobby? There he is. So Bobbies are fine with you going crazy and shooting guns in the middle of in the middle of um, preheval, but they don't like normies running around. It's kind of based. I wonder if the game's going to break if I finish it as Levi, even though Levi is supposed to be dead. I hope not. <laughs> Oh man, am I glad I didn't recruit Osan now. I can't imagine what sort of nightmarish fight that would be. Transformed Osar, man, that sounds insane. What? Oh, they're back. <laughs> Almost ran into them. Altar of the One God. So what is this, the Olmir Altar? Okay, so we're back here. Um, we go straight north to the tower where we do the boss rush. And then what happens if we go left? What's up here? It's a little ladder, so let's check out. Bong. Our little chest. Nothing. What's up here? Oh, a little door. Let's see. Donovan's house. So the weird thing is, there's a whole bunch of these doors that have numbers next to them. And I don't know what that means. Pet pills, nine mil bullets. Who's Donovan again? Another one of these. Find man in dreams flyer. Man, I've got like three of them. Purifying talisman. White vial. Erratic scribblings on the paper. Too late. I saw the dream. Hmm. <laughs> oh. You're not even sure what you're looking at. <laughs> it's all melted. Gross. Oh. Give me something good. Give me something good. Fine. <laughs> hey, traded one lucky coin for two. Let's go. Okay, so we basically have a free heal. Uh, sorry, a free save back here. Uh, wait, how do I get there? Yeah. Stand as many empty scrolls gathering dust. Why hoard empty scrolls? That is a question you ponder. Scribblings in blood. You do not recognize the language. Pet pills. Pigskin gas mask and six shillings. What is a pigskin gas mask? Hmm. 
Uh, it's not the most reliable protection against toxic gases, but it's better than nothing. Well, that sounds actually really useful. Uh, Beetle Stone regens mind, which I actually might put on him. Summer Snake Rune is necessary for... Pocket Cat. Pixing Gas Mask sounds good for... Um... Uh, what was her name? The Machine Girl. Beetle Stone will help regen mind. I I prefer actually the regening health. So who had that? You did. Um, you can just have that. Levi can have oh, equip. And this. there we go. So this is a decent loadout. Um, when I get to that boss rush stage, I'll switch him out and give him a gun. I feel like that would be a little bit better. Testique table. Oh, it's a hexen. Macabre sculptures hold a stone tablet with ritualistic symbols. The symbols look familiar. You feel like you've seen them in your dreams. I have indeed seen them in my dreams. Detailed stone carvings fill the wall. The carvings look fairly recent, despite mimicking an older style. Are these the new gods? They kind of look like it. So they give you a hexen. Interesting. Um, what happens if I if I just masturbate? Wait, can I not use it? Act of self love and enhances your affinity with Sylvian when performed on a ritual circle. I'm at a ritual circle. Maybe it has to be a Sylvian ritual circle. Um, we'll come back for that. Because... No, fuck it, we'll do it now. Sylvian. The ritual circle doesn't seem to react to your drawing. Oh, interesting. Oh, and now I can't, and I can't masturbate either. That's that's weird. I wonder why that worked. Why that didn't work. Oh, is it because I maxed out Sylvian? Okay. Well, that's good to know. That was an all mere or fear and hunger circle. What, so you so you can only draw. No, that's an old god circle. You can you can draw um, whatever you want there, can't you? You would be kind of silly just to have that one sigil only react to like two different gods. Paprika. Oh, we've been here. What's up here? Oh shit, what is that? Oh god, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I took my hand off the keyboard to stretch it right as that happened and it jumped out and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, it was a ninja looking star, it's an all mirror in fear of hunger circle. But Yeah, yeah, that lets you draw any of the old gods there. The statue of a man wrapped under a giant snake. The expression on the man's face is out of anguish. Oh, I, I imagine it would be. Good boy. Goodies, goodies, goodies. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we're back here. Yeah, it only ever lets you draw the ones you can actually use there. Reheval temple side. Ah, we're back here. Okay, okay. But now there was a door back here, so I just want to check this out. I'm not fighting this guy, I don't feel like it. Museum. Oh. The museum has an infectiously festive feel inside. Ah, young master, we meet again. Welcome to the Grand Masquerade. We are celebrating the end of times, the festival of Termina. I'm sure you're aware of the festival by now, too. 
Ah, but alas, we are not forever young, are we, my master? I understand that your time is money, and money is nigh. If I'm not mistaken, you're waiting for the bells to ring, am I right? But before that happens, I would have liked to have introduced you to some of my closest acquaintances. Hmm, but I cannot seem to remember where they could have gone. They must be still at the ball somewhere. Well, in case you run into them, tell them I sent you. The ones I talk, the ones I talk about are Red Devil. Let me let me just write these down just in case. Red Devil, Sun Priestess, Happy Mask Salesman. Okay, I'm sure you'll recognise them. Okay, let's uh, let's eat. Let's eat actually. Can I can I craft any any food? Uh, not really. No. The sign reads: The exhibition on show here in Bohemia National Museum dives deep into the various religious beliefs around the world. Olmia. The Ascended One is a great example of how different these perspectives can really be when examining them through the lenses of different culture. Oops. In Europa, Olmi is often depicted as a male with Caucasian facial features, a bald head and muscular body. In Eastern sanctuaries, Olmi is often described according to his earlier depictions where he was still just a mortal. In these images, he is often thinner than his Western counterpart and sports longer hair, closer to how he was described before ascending and losing all his bodily hair. Naturally, his facial features often depict him as a native to the Eastern sanctuaries, too. The Western depictions highlight his godly stature, whereas in the Eastern sanctuaries he is more humanized. Hmm. Interesting. Yellow vial. Nice. This place seems pretty big. Oh, is there food down here? Sign reads, an ancient stone carving found from Songhai, Abyssonia. The stone dates to around 3000 BA. In Abyssonia, the worship of the older gods was looked down upon until recent times. A belief that the gods would be nothing but entities from outside Earth has been reigning instead. Hmm. The stone carving illustrates a meeting between an extraterrestrial older god and the people of Songhai Empire. <laughs> Bullets, red herb, vial of oil, nice. Take the fluted breathplate. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> but it's just, it just lowers my agility, so that's not actually that good. This guy's getting really hungry. I'm gonna feed them. Levi gets the meat pie. Uh, food. Uh,. Olivia gets some mushroom stew. And you know what? Dan can have a mushroom stew too. A chack chack behind the glass. You can break the glass and take it. But the vitrine appears to be triggered with an alarm system of some kind. I'm going to leave it. Yige Getsu Amulet. I wonder what these even are. A Galen Greatsword. Looks like an alarm system of some kind. Okay. I wonder if you could disable it. Mythological figure known as Beetle the Enlightened One, the famed new god who formed the grand libraries in the City of the Gods, where every one of his successors would gather their knowledge and fill library shelves with books from all forms of expertise. Generally viewed as the father of enlightenment among the new gods and the one who wrote about the human dilemma. Shoot the alarm! <laughs> it is widely believed that the mythical figure is based on Bethel Kishar, one of the more popular scholars of ancient Mesopotamia. Oh, what's this dude? Cool as. His contemporary Magus Chal, the Holy Vatican Emperor, described Nashra with the following famous sentence. Oh, this is a full body of Nashra. A delirious old man, passed by the times. He who has the whole civilized world under his narcissistic abuse, thinking all nations should bend to his childlike tantrums. <laughs> 
sign reads, The statues in this hall were all found from an archaeological excavation in southern Rondon. Oh, so this is from the archaeological expedition, um, expedition from Osar's intro. Stone slabs excavated from the archaeological site in northern Rondon. The slab depicts the nine chromatic blights mentioned in the Book of Homer. The carvings date back to approximately 2000 B. The person doesn't react to your presence in any way. Investigate. The person behind the mask seems to be in the middle of a conversation. These people are nodding and moving their dry lips in sync with each other, yet no words are to be heard. It's almost as if they are left on autopilot. Perhaps there once was an actual masquerade here and the people were left idle for whatever reason. You can see scorched skin under the mask. The eyes are glassy and dry. The whole frame looks weakened. Almost as if these people have been standing here for an eternity. So this one really doesn't have a description? That sucks. I want to see what this is. The person doesn't react to your presence. No answer. Okay. This place is huge. Mushroom stew. Let's go. Glass file. Nice. It's an old painting. Looks like masses of people are at war together. Wait, there's something here. No, no, I'll go. I'll go this way first. I don't want to miss anything. This place is massive. Piece of chalk. Ah, old sport. Fancy seeing you here as well. I hope you're enjoying the ball. Surely you are. It's strange. Ain't it so? Ain't it so? People are strange when you're a stranger. If you want to break from the sea of party people, luckily there are plenty of distractions to examine. I can't help but to wander this lovely building and admire the works of art they've gathered here. There truly are remarkable pieces here. Guernica? Who's Guernica? Is that the artist behind this picture? Art falls into two categories. No, not the art, my bad. Artists fall into two categories. They're the ones who see something taking place in the world. Maybe it's wrongdoings of their fellow pedestrians. Maybe it's abuse of power by those sitting on top of the pyramid scheme. Whatever it is, it feeds their inspiration and creativity and they desperately want to put their own spin on it. It must be very spontaneous, I imagine. Painting a picture in an inspired frenzy, or composing a piece of music that beats in sync with the world. I call these people extroverted artists. Then there are the other half of the poor sods, the ones who dwell in their own thoughts and insight. They want to paint a picture of their inner world, maybe in hopes that someone else will understand them a little better, or maybe to connect with a few like-minded individuals. Maybe these artists would want to depict the picture as well, but only if the event taking place would strike a chord with the monologue they are having with the world. I call these people introverted artists. Both sound selfish in their own right. The extroverted artists who benefit from the suffering of others, while the introverted artists on the other hand sound very self-centered, only wanting to talk about themselves. Now that I think about it, there might be a third kind as well. My favourite kind, actually. Authors who don't even have a clear picture in mind when they start their creative process. They let the story write itself. Let the brushstrokes dictate the direction of the story, instead of trying to force their own will on it. Such chaotic process can lead to unexplored directions. Inspiration can be a chaotic process, don't you think? Say, old sport, the one who dreams of this, the dreamer buried deep underground... Which type do you think she is? Hmm. The third type. No, introverted. Right. It does sometimes feel like that. I do wonder though. Things are rarely so straightforward. But enough about that. Are you here to do business, perhaps? This is what I have to offer. It is quite a nice collection, even if I say so myself. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, do I even want any of this? I don't think so. I don't, I, I mean, I've only got one head, so. 
and I don't really want the Alchemilia because I've got all that. I'm pretty sure. I'll check. I'll check. I'll check. Walk around. Mingle a little. You never know what you learn and who you might meet. Maybe if you get lucky. Well, you get lucky and don't have to leave here alone. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have Alchemilia 2, 3, and 1. Yeah, so I've got everything that I... So I don't need anything from him. It's a famous Pablo Picasso painting. Ah. It's a little paraphrase of Pocket Cats combo in one. I thought this sounded a little bit familiar. The painting depicts a 1937 bombing of Guernica in Spain. I wonder how it's relevant considering the setting of the game. Uh, well, bombing and war seems to be a pretty big part of this game. Glass shards, yoink. Two shillings, yoink. Oh! These guys. <laughs> Just for decoration. Or were there really people of this size back in the day? It's it's like the uh, the ghost knights. The sulfur. It's someone with a triangle, right? The masked person seems to be in a trance of some kind, just repeating the same words over and over again. Right, a triangle inside a triangle. Oh, the season. It definitely is a month of the sulphur. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Okay, so that's weird. It's the month of sulphur, but it's a festival of Termina. What is this? weird arm pieces hell yeah wait I don't need that I have salmon snake room uh... on the road they're ready to offer decent protection and prevent arm loss okay sick why is her mind draining oh because it's fear and hunger i'm an idiot um okay um 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 um, um. these guys were going crazy i'm gonna give him beetle stone for now that should help mitigate the mind loss um no healing beer Okay. Okay, that's good for now. Ooh, samurai armor. Where am I? Where am I? Six shillings. What is that? Okay. I want to follow that thing. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> um Is that the sun priestess maybe? There's so many unique and cool sprites and masks in this area. And they just they just do nothing. That's so that's such a ballsy move. Is it just going to keep wandering around? Talk to me, horse. No. Where are you going, horse? Is it coming back to the front here? Is it literally just wandering around? I think it's just wandering around. Well, I'm not dealing with that then. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, we're at a, we're at a masquerade. Masquerade. 
and this thing doesn't want to speak to me. Um, and we're gonna look, we're gonna find three different people: Happy Mask Salesman, Red Devil, and Sun Priestess. I thought that might be the Sun Priestess, but you can't interact with it in any way. So, I wonder if they become enemies. Oh, look, yeah, maybe. I mean, this is a good, good place to kit up in, I guess, before the final, before the final uh, boss rush. But, but God, am I losing my mind? Are we going around in circles? I think this whole place actually loops. Yeah, I think this place loops. Interesting. Okay, so how the hell do I get back to those stairs? I want to check out those stairs. Where were they? Oh man, I'm getting a headache from this place. Um, stairs. Here. Let's go upstairs. Oh, uh, it was, uh, shit, what time was it? It was, um, uh, three, one, four. Oh, uh, shit, what time was it? Ah, uh, man, um, Three. Nope. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? It's sulfur season. It's sulfur season. Which means that it's the triangle within the triangle. Yeah. Is that right? No, it's not right. Maybe maybe it's a different clue I'm thinking of. Okay, but it is sulfur season. Okay, so I guess we go to find Red Devil, Sun Priestess, Happy Mask. Do any of these look like a Red Devil? Or a sun priestess and a happy mask salesman. Okay, so let me write that down. Sulfur. Sulfur season. Yes, it's definitely sulfur season. And we looped again? I think we looped, yep. Okay, we're back. Um, okay, so let's find anyone who will actually speak to me. Okay. Um, how about you fellas? No. Okay, let's just go down, let's go down. And we loop back around here already. <laughs> okay, 35 minutes. 25 until the next hour. Okay. 35 minutes. 25 until. Okay, thank you, Mars person. Are you sure it's not 10 minutes? Excuse me? Are you sure it's not 10 minutes? No, you're a liar. I don't care about what you have to say. Um, because she's not the sun priestess, is she? Puppy cat is there. Um, we've been here. Uh, 
Um, Red Devil, Sun Priestess, Happy Mars Salesman. Does he look like a Happy Mars Salesman? The Sulphur? It's someone with a triangle, right? Okay. Wow. They're getting really hungry in here. Can I craft any food? I can't. Jesus. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this whole place is just sending everybody crazy. <laughs> and food. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save the food until everybody's like really, really low. Hmm. Where oh where might the other ones be? What are you? The hour of truth lies somewhere between one and two. Okay. One and two. The hour of truth sounds mysterious. Okay. Okay, I think I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, so, oops. This is triangle within the triangle. Yep, okay, and... Nope. Okay. Um, so this is the minute hand, so it's 35 minutes. Here we go. And what was that? Between one and two. Are you kidding me? How is that not right? It's sulfur season. Am I just an idiot? That's sulfur, right? That's a triangle within the triangle. Unless it's this. But that doesn't seem right. And the hour is between one and two. So it's there. And then... No. And the time is 35 minutes, which should be here. Here. Is that not right? <sighs> am I dumb, guys? Am I, am I not doing this right? Hang on, let's talk to the guy again. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I'm not small brained. Don't be mean. Red Devil, Sun Priestess, and Happy Mars Salesman. I don't think that guy was a Happy Mars Salesman, though. He didn't really look like it. Man. Let's look around some more. Let's look around some more. You're a funny looking fella. But that were, the, that were the only three groups that actually gave me any information. Are you sure it's not... She says, are you sure it's not 10 minutes? We'll try 10 minutes as well then. Hmm. 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 <laughs> oh, back here already. Okay. Let's try ten minutes. So 
so what was that? The hour between one and two. Yep. No. Maybe ten minutes two. Ah. No. God damn it. <laughs> this puzzle's a little bit awkward. Yeah? No? Well then then what is it? What is it? What is it? Thirty five minutes. Should be here? Right? Yeah. And then between one and two. Yeah. There. And then just. Is there supposed to be a noise or something that goes off? Oh, fuck this. What am I doing wrong, guys? What am I doing wrong? Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to Google this, and there's not going to be any responses, but I'm still going to Google it. Fear and hunger masquerade. Is there going to be anything that comes up? It's a YouTube. It's a YouTube video, I guess. Let's see. Let's see the YouTube video. Let's see that. Because I don't feel like wandering around here for like another twenty minutes. Game facts used to be the best, but now there's like so many games where you just this is nothing. Hang on, did they get through? Well, I think they got through. Are you... Wait, what? They used the same... They used the same thing that I did. What? They used the same response I did. The exact same one. And it was like here. Hang on, let me just double check. Need it between... Okay, okay, let me try that again then. Let me try that again. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> Ah! Glass vial, okay. I knew I had it, I knew I had it! Another sold of our necklace, that's alright. Man, these guys are getting really hungry, I should, I should feed them up, hey. Mushroom stew, oh, mushroom stew for everybody. Nice. Thank you, thank you, Boonga. Thank you very much for your help, I appreciate it. Okay. What's going on here? Like, I get it, but I think it's just a... I think it is actually a notch off, because 35 minutes is... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, because it's 35 minutes. But... Each, each notch on the clock is... Is what, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's wrong. I'm right. I am smart. I'm not dumb. Into the pit. Nothing but engulfing darkness awaits you down below. Seems familiar. 
Why does this seem familiar? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I don't like this. I don't like this. No, what other healing do I have? What other healing? Can I can I craft any healing? Craft craft armor. Oh, that's interesting. You can craft a full piece of armor with the uh, the flute and stuff. That's cool. My best guess is that the second lady next to the 35 minutes says it was 10 minutes, but maybe it's... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what that means. And I'm not a smooth brain mechanic. If you say that again, I will, I will do nothing except cry. I'll probably cry. So don't say it again. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. What was I doing? Crafting item. Can I craft... I'm going to craft a light blue bar. And I can't craft any food. So... I'll give that to Levi and we'll give him, I think, give him a drink, actually. Vodka, lavender, I got a lot of lavender. Cool, all right, this looks good. Um, I don't like this, I don't like this at all. Um, white bunker. a white bunker. Oh! A sturdy vault door stands menacingly in front of you. You switch on the monitor. Open the vault door. Start to create connection. Oh, okay. Ping. West tell elec. Off. East tell elec. On. Okay, I don't know what any of that means, but... Scrap metal, nice. I guess this has something to do with the uh, the weird machine stuff from like three streams ago in the other bunker. Yeah, I imagine it would be connected to them somehow. But man, they must have something big going in there if they got a whole bunker door with a train track leading right to it. What were the Brennans doing? Is that it? Is that it? Just a big vault door I can't interact with. Well, that is very fear and hunger. You turn on three thingies and that's all the museum has out the year. I guess it has a lot of loot, some good scab grabs, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Um, so was there anything else I could check out? Uh, maybe. Before we try the boss rush once again and get owned. I think I've already been up here. No, that's right. I stopped. I didn't want to go. I wonder where this leads. Hmm. Oh, some goodies. Turnip, nice. Fly, yep. Dirty toilet paper, nice, I like it. Turnip, let's go. I have a lot of turnips now. Three, that's huge. What's this? The Great Debate of Preheval, held in June 1919 at Grand Palace of Preheval in Bohemia by two mourning sides of the Great War. Hmm. I wonder what's going on here. Oh. Oh! 
and we're back around. There is a shortcut. There you go. Wait, have I been here? Yes, I have. That's right. I didn't. I've never fought one of those. I fought one of those guys once, and that was enough. I'm not fighting them again. Um. Okay. So that shortcut isn't actually super important. Um. Um, let's go back and let's do this bus rush. Have I obtained anything that is particularly useful on this adventure? So if I reset, what will happen? Um, I think I got a bit of loot from the museum. And arm guards, I think, was the only useful thing. And that's not really a big deal, so I don't really care about whatever that... About the arm guards, so... What's up here again? Oh, nothing. Right. Okay. Down we go. Now, what I'm going to do is... We go up here. That's okay. Probably don't need his head at this point, really. Um, equipment, equipment, equipment. You get the... No, I'll give you the trench gun, actually. Yeah. Okay, I think this is actually uh, an alright setup. Don't actually need the, the death mask, because the death mask is nice for magic defense, but I don't know if we're actually doing any magic, taking any magic damage in these fights, so. Um, this is just good regen. Um, do I want anything different? Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. I kind of need the salmon snake rune. Um, you can just take that that's not really going to do anything is it um, um and what i'm going to do is healing whispers everybody that's good um dan and olivia i don't really care about their mind but what i am going to do is take all their items Um, oh yeah, 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 it, it's clutch. You can take cameo, I don't care about that. I'm going to take the leech monger ring, you can have that. What's the cast mask do again? What does it do? Um, gas mask used by the Bremen flame troopers. Uh, flame troopers, but, oh, it's just defense. Okay. Um. Remove, I don't care. Actually, no, you can have the Beetle Stone. Just in case. Just in case the transformation order is different. Um, okay, so this... Actually, how many shots do I have? I have five shots with a shotgun. That's all right. We do a bit of damage with that. Um, do I have better, better armor for him? No, I don't. Um, I think, I think we're good to go. The gas mask would be useful for that. That's good for healing, but it's not necessary for healing, is it? No. I'll switch that out for the artificial soul to get some good magic going. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. Ah. Okay, it is Dan first. So this isn't a big deal. Hello there. 
Um, now how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I think I just want to. I think I just want to drill him in the in the body. Oh, behave! Because his limbs have insane amounts of health. Oh, shit. Okay, so it seems to be a random which one he targets. He didn't, he didn't target them randomly last time. That's weird. But dismemberment isn't guaranteed. Okay, okay. A nice rubbing. What does that even do? Okay, so it... I feel like... He picks a target for each attack. And the target is random whenever you start the fight. So whenever you pick arms, he'll always attack the one the one target for arms. When you pick legs, he'll always pick one target for legs, etc. Because last time it was the same way, except it was reverse. He picked Levi for arms. I shouldn't have wrapped up. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Legs. Let's go. Oh, it's Olivia again. Poor Oh, she's going to die. I don't mind if she dies. That's right. That's okay if she dies. Because if she dies, we don't have to do her fight. Oh, okay, so now he is targeting Levi. All right. Um, 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 um. Is there anything I want to do here? Not really. I don't want him to die before he takes out Olivia. <laughs> so it seems like it is purely random. If she dies, you can't absorb us. I don't have anyone's... I don't, I've got like two souls anyway, so I don't really care. Oh. Okay, we got him. Come on. Nah, you can't. Damn it, you can't. You can't change your equipment or anything before that next fight triggers. That's annoying. Okay, so what I'm going to do is skills. Mischief of rats. Oh, the gas mask does nothing. That's useless. <sighs> Pigskin gas mask doesn't stop getting poisoned. Uh, so I guess that one didn't work either. So leechmonger ring. Okay, you get that. And you also get coming here solo. That'd be interesting. Um, I don't think you can. Oh, you can dismiss your your friends, can't you? So it, it would probably be easier to dismiss them at like the train, kill them there while they're human, and then come back here. No, Bremen Gas Mask didn't stop it last time either. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Dan had the Bremen Gas Mask, and he was dead by this point. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the, the Bremen gas station uh, gas mask would work. It wouldn't work now because I'm already poisoned, but that's something to try next time. Um, okay, so what weapon do I want to use? I want to use maybe the rifle. That's a lot of damage. 
Yeah, we use a rifle. Uh, anything a bit better? No. I'll take that off because I don't need it anymore. And I'll put the Ring of Wraiths on. And okay, so we'll have damage coming in and we have the Salmon Snake Room, which is pretty sick. Okay. Okay, so... Let's go rot. Rotter and get... Weaken her up a bit. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, I'm getting drilled here. Wow, okay. Item... Blue mixed herbs. No, light blue vial. That would be better. She's not a robot. She's only half a robot. Come on, Bones. Wow, that deals so much damage. Um... Okay. We need to take out this arm. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus, that's a lot of damage coming out. Am I gonna- I'm not gonna be able to deal with this, am I? No. Um, that's okay. So she deals three mind damage each turn. And you can't really fuck around. You gotta take these arms out as soon as possible, because that's 40 damage being pumped out each turn, plus poison. Vent out itself doesn't do po doesn't do any damage, but the poison does five damage per turn, it looks like. Maybe it changes based on stats. Um So, it's like 45 damage per turn, guaranteed, almost. Hmm, hmm. Right, I'll try the Bremen gas mask. Who has it? Who has it? Nothing instead because I want that ring. Um, I never found out what the cameo does. Um, okay, you get the ring of wraiths and I have Sylvian. And yeah, so I'll put the Bremen gas mask on. Um, and we'll see if that works. It doesn't say that it's useful to actually stop poison attacks, but. You know, it's worth a try. Okay. It's kind of annoying there isn't a shortcut that you can unlock, like, right there. That'd be really useful. <laughs> okay. Uh, the ring doesn't prevent poison. It gives you light poison to prevent worse poisons. So you're still taking damage the entire time. Because I think I have it. Um, oh, I guess I didn't pick it up this run. Y 
yeah, is is taking two damage instead of five damage a turn worth an equipment slot? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, you fucker. You fu Oh, it pinned me again. Ah, oh, fuck me. I hate these things. They're so annoying. I, might, I think I might actually have to, have to fight one of these. Ugh. Okay. Mischief of rats. Attack the arm. Attack the arm. Okay. Oh, shit. I took his weapons away. <laughs> I took his weapons off. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, you, you can get, uh, Officer Sword, there we go. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Um, attack. Yeah, attack a torso. Attack his torso. Why not? Why not? Oh, he hasn't cast Harden. That's weird. That's usually the first thing he does. I guess Mist uh, Mistress of Rats stunned him out of it. Okay. Nice. Okay. That could have gone a lot, a lot worse. Oh, he's just wandering off now. Cool. <sighs> now I'm really curious what the uh, the transformations of all the characters look like. Oh, trash. I didn't expect Dan to turn into. Actually, you know what? Looking at Dan now, I can I can see I can see why he becomes Pocket Cat. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'll do is give him the Beatles. No. Give him this, the Bremen Gas Mask, so that way I don't have to change halfway through. Dan is a furry pedophile. Well, that's unfortunate. I like Dan. And he also gets the Trench Gun. Olivia gets a Trench Gun. Olivia gets THE Trench Gun. Dan does not. He instead gets... The Iron Spear. No, the rifle. Uh, is this the best best item I've got? Yes. And the best helmet? It's the Bremen Elite helmet, actually. Because these guys just don't do magic damage. Okay. Okay. Um, You can have beer, nice, and I'll give them some food too. They're about to die. They can they can have a little bit of food. That's fine. As a treat. Um, okay, and actually you can wash that down with a bit more beer, I think. Vodka instead. Lavender. There we go. Certain transformations can be tough to get. I'm not sure if you can get the German soldiers, but if you play in Mascus mode, every character starts transformed. Wow! That's pretty hardcore. Uh, okay, so... So, 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 I think... I think we're good. I think we're good.
Yeah, can you even recruit? What's his name? Pav? Can you even recruit him? And it seems like he just dies here. Oh, hello there. <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, mischief. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What can you do? Nothing. Attack his body. Boom! Fucking shotgun right to the chest. Oh, behave. <laughs> Probably had to gun it here ASAP to recruit Pab. Probably, yeah, actually. You can save him and bring him to the train, but after that I swear he just dies on your next save regardless. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay, so we'll attack his torso and attack his torso. Okay. The guns don't do that much more damage than than the the big um the good the good melee weapons you can get. She's lost both her legs now. Oh my god, she's actually gonna die. That's actually really good if she dies right now. But I will switch out her weapons. I'll give her the axe. Meat mallet. Where's my spear gone? Oh, I gave I gave Dan the spear and then I didn't take it off of him. God damn it. Ugh. Trench gun is alright as a weapon, but really good in the overworld. Guns are mostly for overworld stuff. That makes sense, yeah. Trench gun is just. I, I like the trench gun, but it's useless because you never find any ammo for it. Two shots death mask before you fight. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mark, yeah, Marco seems to kick ass for everything. But I never found him in this, actually. I'm, like, I didn't find him at all. Oh, she can have the sickle, I guess. Should I give her something else? Something I'm just not going to use? The plank shield. Yeah, yeah, right. I think you can retrieve him on the train in the second day. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, we'll go arms then. Please not Olivia. Okay, good, good, good. I was there when you let him die. Oh, that was Marco. Oh, that was early. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Base path. Wiping out the competition. Oh no, it can't be. Outrageous. You feel sick. No more, please. All manner of emotions and knee-jerk reactions tingle against your spines. As Pocket Cat's secrets invade your mind, not much unlike his fingers that invaded your privacy last night. God, Pocket Cat's a creep. Wait, hang on. Wait, does that mean. Oh god, does that mean Dan was touching us while we slept? Oh god. Uh, it does. Oh no. Yes, Olivia's dead. Awesome, 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 awesome. And Levi can't lose limbs because of Salmon Snake. Um, What skills? Do, uh, is there anything I want to use? I could use Mischief of Rats. Oh no, it doesn't do that much in this fight because all these attacks aren't like a special. Gonna start taking a lot more damage now, but that's okay. <laughs> okay.
Oh, he really does like he he's actually sticking to his word. He's really not doing any damage to you. Unless you explicitly ask him to. Okay, so that's not the worst attack in the world that he's doing. There we go. Yes, and Olivia is down too. Don't tell me she survived that. Wait. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, whoops. <laughs> That's two Olivia's. Hey, Taro. It's logical that Dev doesn't have a publisher because I'd wonder who'd want to deal with this interesting obsession with penises and anal sex. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Nothing happened. What? Is it... So everyone needs to die now. Okay. I really hope that counts as Olivia being dead. Wait, wait, wait. Do I need to go kill everybody? Okay. So. Everyone needs to die. I'm going to want my party for that. So you want to do the boss rush last. Okay. It's a lot easier to kill people as people, not wild monsters. Well, the first time I tried that, I got uh, blinded instantly by uh, Marina. And, <laughs> and then uh, the run just instantly stopped. So <laughs> you say easier, but I don't know. Um, okay. Is there a way to find out who's still alive without without going to sleep? Or is that it is it like no, you have to you have to sleep to find out who's still alive. Hmm. There's a rare spell that tells you location of every contestant. Uh, I don't have any rare good boy points, so I can't get it, even if I had the soul stones for it. <sighs> Boss rush is optional. I only have to have party members. You can just kill them in the train. Yeah, that's what that's what I realized just before. Um... Okay. Up, 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 okay. Do I have soul stones? I'm gonna see if I can even get that. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna restart so I don't have to so I actually have my party back before I go before I go kill everyone. But I just want to see if I have. See if I have um. The ability to get that that rare spell. <sighs> then why was that spell dinging on the train on day one? The last time was seven. Down Olivia down is five. Okay, reveal. No, I can't. Oh, I need to pray to Ru. Oh, wait. Duh. Do I have. Which one is Ru? 
Is rare the one I don't have? Grogoroth, Sylvian, Olmir, Fear and Hunger. Rare doesn't work in that circle. Ah, why doesn't rare work in that circle? It's an old god circle. Where is a rare sigil? How do I do this? How do I do this? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't know, I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing, guys. Only Ormir and Fear and Hunger work on perfect circles. I don't know. The... Wait. So is so someone was wait. You can draw sigils on circles that don't work. You can actually do that. If so, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> Wow, okay, someone was telling me that before. And I was like, no, no, you can't do that. They wouldn't let you do that. No, you can do that. Yeah, get fucked. Do something similar in one, two. Ah, God damn it. God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Okay. Yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Pay attention or die. Um, only all me and fear and hunger work on perfect circles. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, I need to make a sigil to rare. Yeah, I've gotten, I've gotten perfectly lucky with the ones I've drawn so far. Yeah, I guess. And not, not a single other one has failed. So, <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> I did it before and I'm like, why isn't it working? Someone's like, it's, just, it's the wrong symbol. I'm like, they wouldn't let you do that. No, they do. They do. Oh, goodness gracious, goodness gracious. Return of the sun. Return of the sun. Give me something good, baby. Give me something good. Oh, wow. That's really unlucky. <laughs> um, okay. So. Let's not do that. So I need a I need a good boy point. I need a soul stone, which I, I think I have enough heads to get that anyway. And then I need to pray to rare to get reveal aura. Mind read. Or is it mind read or reveal aura? Huh. It's probably reveal aura. Do I have Olivia's head? No, you can't cut it off if they die when, when they're in your party. And I reset anyway, so. Okay, okay, okay. How long have we been going for? Four and a half hours. We'll go for a half hour more. And the goal is to... The goal is to find a place where we can carve rare sigil in. Where can we do that? Where can we put rare sigil in? How do we get good boy points for rare? I have Marco's head. Been to the woodsman's basement. Um, I think I have, and I'm pr I'm pretty sure I used that for a uh, a god of fear and hunger save. <laughs> I've used up so many points for saves. But I'm going down that way anyway, so. I haven't been to the deep woods yet. Wait, where am I going? What am I doing? What am I... Do I have a... something down here?
I remember there was a, a sigil down here. What do we do with it? What do we do with it? Did I use it? I have used it. Okay. Yeah, look, you can... Oh, it's fear and hunger. Okay. Who is coward using saves? Yeah, it's coming back to bite me in the ass. Um... I want to talk to the new gods, and that is in the shortcut basement. Where was the shortcut basement? Is... Here. Here? Over here? Up here. Mystic of Rats is great, yeah. Man, that, like, two-turn stun is insane. I don't know if you can... You probably can't spam it, but... Coupled with um, Dan's expose is just ridiculous. You can two or three-turn most enemies. I think I three-turned the furry boss. The one in the mayor's house. You know, I don't think I did. Uh, I turned on one of the machines and it was like, are you sure you want to turn it on without the power being on it? I'm like, hell yeah, I do. So I think I fucked up that quest line already. Anything like Locust Swarm, it's spammable. Oh, fuck yeah. It is really expensive though. You can, uh... Okay, so I got two, two soul stones. Nice, okay. So let's go to the mayor's house, which is through here too. Awesome. Turning on the machine. Okay. I think without the power being on, talked about, is it the machine in the white bunker? Oh, okay. Um, I'm not going to do that this playthrough. Um, I'm just going to focus on getting one ending and not try and do everything in a single playthrough. Because this is so much stuff in this game, I don't want to, like, try to do everything. That'll be for the next playthrough. Um, where was that... Where was that sigil? Was it in here? No. Nope, 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 nope. Maybe downstairs. Oh, no, upstairs. Right, 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 right. Um... With the, with the, with the priest here. Is he still around, I wonder? Okay, so can I use this one for rare? Is that a, is that a yes? I don't, I don't want to waste the sigil. <laughs> Rare's good here. Okay. And which which one is rare again? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna look at the book. I'm gonna be a good boy and I'm gonna look and I'm gonna read the book. I'm gonna do my do my homework. Wait, wait, wait. Are you people fooling me? I don't have rare skin bible. Have you been trying to ruse me? Do I have two contestant heads? I have one contestant head. How do I get another contestant head? I can get one more contestant head if I go to the tower and then I can get Pav's head and then I can go to Pocket Cat and then I can go buy the skin book of rare. Okay, we have a plan, we have a plan. We have a plan, boys. Let's go. Contestants are hard to find, and you don't get their head if they transform. So Pav is the only one left. Hang on, is... Um... Oh, go away. I'm not dealing with you today. Is... Um... Is... Is, is, is... The mayor a contestant? You do get their head. 
but I couldn't get the head of um uh I couldn't get the head of um Marilyn Manson after he transformed. Could have sworn you had it. Yeah, I, I reckon it was on another, on, another, on, a, on another run. So the mayor is a contestant. Okay, well, I can go do that after this. That's, that's easy. We know where he is. Um. Okay, so we go get Pav, and then we go talk to Pocket Cat, and we know where Pocket Cat is because he's in the museum. And while we're in the museum, we can do a bit of a scab grab because there's a lot of nice stuff in there. So good, 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 good. That's a plan. Then I... Can I open up the shortcut there? Do I need to open up the shortcut? I don't need to open up the shortcut. Next time I stream this, gonna mod the fog. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, it's very foggy. And I get it, but it's like... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the answer to like, well, we can't actually have the game be dark if it's outside in the city during the daytime, so how do you make the game obscure? Bait him around. Here we go. Um, apparently, uh, the fog can cause really bad slowdown issues for some people too. I've heard, and I've had FPS drops because of the fog. And then you just hit, you just open up the menu, then you close it again, and then you can get, then it goes away for some reason. It's very odd. Go away, Bobby. I don't want to fight you. Pass obscure just in here. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> Fog makes dungeon enemies a lot harder. It's the best reason, but it's like annoying. Yeah. Oh, vegetable pie. Hell yeah, meat pie. Okay, well, um, you guys can have a little bit of bite to eat, I think. Or can you? Yeah. Uh, that's right. Only Levi. Oh, so I've been informed that you can put a sigil in here somewhere. And you need you need to do a, a Vanushka sigil around here somewhere in order to access a secret weapon. But I couldn't work out how to do it. Motion is easy to make out. This makes detail harder to make out. Hmm. Where does that shortcut? I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Where does the shortcut? Because there is a shortcut you can unlock, but it's the most useless shortcut. Um, and it just opens back up into the shopping district, which I guess isn't the worst. Please don't be right here. Please don't be right here. Thank God. I wonder if it's trying to imply that the city is being being pulled into the god realm. Like Mahab. Is it Mahab or Mahav? Because it's spelled as both. Which one is it? Cause I remember uh, I remember the city being quite foggy. Uh give me a good boy. Sorry for said. Awesome. Let's go. <sighs> okay, so now we can get a skin Bible. And we want the skin Bible of Rare. It was originally Mahab, but the dev changed it to Mahav. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because both do show up in, in the first game. Uh, I... I know it's been mentioned in this one, but I, I can't remember which one it said. And there should be a little bit of scab grab in here too. No. Yeah, it is just a generic, generic texture, isn't it?
Where are you? Did I not go the right way? I think I went the wrong way. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Here? No. Here? I think this place has a special modifier where it really drains your um, your sanity really quickly. Oh, small key, sick. Ah, here we go. Hello, mister. Good to see you again. Don't care, 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 Mr. Pocket Cat. I know you're a delightful conversationalist, but I am in a hurry. Dark indoor shred center of the year. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Nietzsche spoke about it. Okay, 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 okay. I want the. Oh my god! It's three contestant heads! Ah! I'm done for today. I'm done for today. Oh, it's so tedious. <laughs> God damn it. It's so tedious sometimes. I love this game, but come on, man. Come on. Give us shortcuts, please. Uh, I wish you could. I wish you could just turn to one of your party members and say, I'm going to kill you now. Oh. My goodness. My goodness gracious. Okay. All Mir gives fast travel. Oh, like, you know, I don't, I don't expect, like, to be able to teleport just to every room you want, right? But, like, after getting to the tower, why can't I open up a path straight, straight back to the city center where you can visibly see paths there that just have shit in the way? But there was there wasn't anything there. You can push a crate to the left. What? Why? Why is that? Is that going to be the only crate in the game you can push? Oh my god! Why would you? You can push others. But then why would you... Okay, so that, this is this is a game design flaw because if you use... You use a sprite of an object and then you can't usually interact with it at all and then sometimes you can. It's like... Okay, that's silly. So whenever the player sees that again, then it's going to say, oh, I can't interact with that. Man, that's annoying though. Ah. Oh. But I, but I am enjoying the game. I am enjoy It's just the small things that are annoying me now. The non-interactable ones are at an angle, but they should have death. They're they're different. They are. Well, I'm actually right next to. We can go have a look. Okay, because it's like right here. I'm not going to go all the way around to actually push the damn thing, but we can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Quite a lot of players play with the infinite save mod or mod their saves with 99 books of enlightenment. I think, like, I don't mind the um, the harsh saving. I think that's okay. Oh, God. That's annoying. God, that's annoying. Okay, I'll say I'll say that's half my fault because it is the only blue crate here. But I still do think it should have been a different color than the blue that they use for other crates. So I'll I'll say it's a 50-50. It should have been like bright red or something. Said the same complaints in the year ago on the demo. <laughs> Yeah. The only the time you use it for a puzzle is in the sewers to try and kill a funny rat guy at one point. Pity. I like rat guys. Half says two hundred percent my fault. It's it's so much my fault it loops back around to being my fault again. <laughs> but you know, it's like it's it's sort of like it's this game is like it's fantastic, right? Hey Sifonia, how you doing? Hey oh, that's a great emote. What is that? <laughs> but it's like it's sort of the same problem with uh signalis right the game is like it's it's awesome game but then there's like one problem one or two problems that are like man the problems stand out because the rest of the game is so good um and it's like yeah just just a little nudge just fix this one thing and the game would be perfect You know, it's like a, a like a mirror with a scratch on it. You can see it all the better. My biggest problem was that they introduced thermite, they never use it again. Wouldn't it be special, or useful? Um, in Signalis, um, thermite was pretty useful throughout the whole thing. Um, I think the biggest issue in that game, I think, like I like almost everything in it except there were two things: the boss fights were were pretty bad. The, the final boss fight was actually really buggy. The first time I went in there, the boss couldn't actually do any damage to me. Um, oh, yeah, no, there was loads of Thermite in the game. Um, uh, and the other major problem was the, uh, the inventory size. Um, like, it got to the point where having only six, if you went into the boss fight, if you, taught, if you brought two weapons into the boss and the ammo for those weapons, and a healing item, then you'd only have one slot left. Yeah, too many key items. And it was just... It was it was too annoying. They should have added inventory upgrades as the game went on. I think that would be a, that would feel really good, and it would make the game a lot better. Just, just a couple. Not like, you don't need like a massive carry everything in your inventory at once. Just like, you know, one or two as the game went on. Other than that... And fix fix the bosses because they were just weird and, and awkward and, and not very good. Um, Signal is a fantastic game. Highly recommend it. Even even right now, I recommend playing it despite those flaws because it was just a really really solid game. And that's the same with thing with Termina. There's fantastic game so far. Just a couple of, well, it's buggy. I'm not going to say it's not buggy. <laughs> um, um, but the devs working hard on fixing it. Um, every day there's like a new patch for Termina. Um. But just a couple of small things that are like it's just just on the, this edge of frustrating, rather than being difficult. Because there's there's a there's a line, right? There's a line between frustrating and difficult. And and that's where Signal has stepped to the frustrating side with a small inventory, and Termina steps on the frustrating side with a couple of things. Um, still very good games, and I and I I quite like them very much. But, hmm. Throwback to where an ability had a 50% chance to soft lock your game like three days ago. Did it? <laughs> I didn't see that. Um, remember there was that bug where people were just, it, it couldn't load a certain texture and the game just wouldn't start. 
Blood sacrifice would infinitely loop. Wow, that's weird. Um, there are abilities that didn't do anything. Um, I think killing intent is supposed to scare away lesser enemies, but it just didn't do anything at all. And there's a couple of abilities like that. But yeah, no, he's like he's going through, and like every time I start the stream, I have to make sure to to double check that that termina is updated properly. Ah, uh, yeah, blood sacrifice works now. Killing intent works now. Fix a little bit of stuff. Oh, pocket cat dialogue at the museum trimmed a little bit. So that was the dialogue we went through today. <laughs> and they, they they took off bleeding from all the player weapons. I don't know why they did that. Which is sort of it's it's not it wasn't a make or break for the player, but it's still like a little bit of damage. Like a little bit of damage. Rancid boss fight got a big nerf, less tanky. Oh, thank God. That furry boss fight. I dislike it in general. Without Dan, that fight would be just painful. Hmm. Oh, well, I think I might wrap up. My throat's starting to give out. We're almost up to five hours anyway. Um, okay. So, 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 so. I'm enjoying, like, you know, I, I think I made, um, I think I made zero progress there. No, right, right, no, I did make progress. I found the Salmon Snake rune, and that was basically, <laughs> that was basically all the saves did. And then we were grinding out the, um, uh, the boss rush. And then after I did the boss rush, I found out I don't need to do the boss rush yet. So, <laughs> so, you know, that's good. That's good to know. Um, oh. What shall we do? I might raid. You know who we should raid? Let's raid. Um. What should raid message be first? Let me think about that for a second. How about we just do... I, I don't know. What's a good raid message, guys? Oh, thanks for the follow, Boonga. Oh, right. Um, I post all my stuff on... Is it socials or social? I never, I can never remember which one of this. Social. There we go. On... Um, on Twitter, I post all my updates. Um, and there's going to be a stream tomorrow. Um, I'll just get the raid started. Screw it. Raid. Claudio. Um, I'll be streaming tomorrow at this time and go for about the same amount of time. I was supposed to be streaming on Wednesday, but I'm not anymore, unfortunately. Um, let's keep an eye on my Twitter for updates. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, let's just go. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I, 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 I haven't thought of a raid message for like nine months. No raid message. I don't care. All right, guys. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I will see you all tomorrow. Welcome in. Mal the dude, Mal the TV stream. Welcome, welcome in. Thank you for your raid. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for dropping by.